Of the recording, you fat ass bitch. Yep. Oh, <laughs> I already like this guy. He said two words. Scan. Sorry, Pat. We should be able to post in scans. Um, gonna move these fuckers here. <laughs> yeah, you, you can't start until I start recording, so shut the fuck up. All right. Over here. So it's game mode Naruto versus <coughs> game Luffy. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna uh, do. Wait, I think that I think I typed it out. It's just base Luffy versus Baron mode Naruto. And I'm using I base guess Luffy. I'll make the thumbnail while you two gay boys have it out with each other. Okay. Um, we are, are you ready to like? Can we start? Are you recording? Uh, yeah, I'm ready. They can start recording. Yeah, I'm recording. Okay. Um, yeah, you can just uh pulse the scans and um. In scans chat, we can just start off with like speed first because that's going to be like a primary condition. Um, but yeah, you can go ahead and post that in scans chat. Okay. What other speed scale I should use? Oh, I'm using Bayron. I'm stuck to one speed scale, anyways. And as long as you can chain scale to the Baron mode, you just say Baron mode's faster. It should be good. I'll just say Baron mode's faster than um, Luffy. That's my premise for now. Well, the premise is, you know, obviously you saying bear mode beats Luffy. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm more so referring to your premise or your argument for why, which is like the speed point right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, like, why do you think he's faster than Luffy? Okay, we're gonna start off on Naruto's instant, uh, not Naruto, Ishiki's instantaneous speed, and why Naruto equals that. We'll get to that in a second, but just want to read these two scans. Um, the ones after the one you posted at the top? It starts off with a motto, that one. Okay. Um, it's going to be uh, Shiki Secrets. You can shrink almost anything or store it almost instantly, too. The only exception is Living Things. He can shrink himself with all the living thing. Uh, or it's shrunk in an instant. Okay. Um, so you're going to argue he has, like, instantaneous speed? instantaneous attack speed with his shrinking jutsu. Okay, um, I disagree. So in context for this whole thing or this whole ability that we mm -hmm. see with Ishiki, um, mm -hmm. whenever it comes like him absorbing the Amaterasu or him just absorbing flames or absorbing anything or shrinking it, we see whenever they use words like instantly or instantaneous, even the scan above the model says he can do it almost instantly. And the one before it says, yeah, well, the one after preceding this one says, yeah, he can shrink it in an instant. An instant doesn't imply something being hyper-literal. It can just be like a simile of a sort, or it can just be hyperbole or an over-exaggeration. And then within context, we don't see the, the flames instantly vanish on the panel. Um, we see actually that they take time to vanish. And if anything, you could argue like a narrative extrapolation with things like the anime clearly showing that. Um, even if you don't feel like they're a canon, like I said, even the panel itself is shown that it's not just instantaneously so okay so first off when you said that um the omato panel says almost instantaneously and then the difference one says instantaneously below it the omato pedal is when jigen's in his weaker form before he transformed into ishiki and it was already almost instantaneously meanwhile when he turned into the ishiki form after jigen died it was instantaneously and then moving on oh, wow. to your second point that you made you said that the flames were not dissipated in an instant Actually, we don't see the flames at all in the scene. We only see the smoke afterwards. The eternal flame that only came to is waist high. So we know that these are the smoke from after the flames have been absorbed. Okay, so for him to even give a, a vocal speech pattern, for him to even be able to talk afterwards, um, there implies a time frame. Now, him being able to talk argue, afterwards. Okay, okay, wait, wait. I'm going to explain what I'm talking about in context. So... We see um, him talking outdoors and speaking, saying, yeah, all of the flames were shrunk in an instant. Such tremendous power. He's finally making an appearance. We already see, like I said, within context, that this occurs after. Now, for you to have a speed feed, I'm pretty sure you're aware that we use stuff like speed equals D over T. Or even in this case perspective, um, we have characters like Naruto who consistently have, you know, around relativistic up to FTL scale. And if you can prove he's FTL. But even then, to assert a value and to say something like, yeah, he would just jump to instantaneous speed is fallacious in reasoning, considering the fact that it's not consistent. <laughs> I had to mute that bot. 
Um, but yeah, it wouldn't be consistent with the overall speed scaling as well as the format uh, for D over T. And like I said, there's no time frame given for us to even assert that it was instant. So I would Actually, just argue uh, wait, hyperbole uh, and inconsistent with the series. You said there was no time frame given. He said it was an instant. And then on top of that, you said it's an inconsistency when Bayram mode itself is an inconsistency. First of all, Kuruma could have told Naruto about this mode many years ago. It okay. just is a... It's like I don't, a I don't, random type thing. Okay. Second of all... Oh, go ahead. I'll let you address it. No, you go ahead. Uh, I was going to say, I don't think that necessarily engages or that necessarily demonstrates an inconsistency with the way that I'm referring to it. The inconsistency that I'm referring to has to do with speed scale and overall generally. Whereas this is just a form, you're you're more so um, arguing for a plot um, or a PIS, uh, in this case, like a plot-induced stupidity moment. So where you're trying to say that, yeah, Kuruma could have already uh, a warned Naruto or told him about this form, when the, the pure narrative behind uh, Baron Mode was literally just like, yeah, I can die using this form. Um, and I don't feel like Kuruma even has to tell him this, as well as I feel like this is like a, a disanalogous example because a narrative inconsistency wouldn't even equal a, a combat or a power skill and inconsistency, as well as the fact that I told you that, you know, Kuruma could have died, and it makes sense for him not to tell him until they developed this relationship and he wanted to put everything on the line, so, yeah. Okay, and then on top of that, you said um, about this, what's called a time frame. So Yeah, are because you... speed equals, yeah, like, you know, distance divided by time. So if you don't have distance or time in this frame, you wouldn't even be able to give a direct measurement for it. Whereas in, like, uh, if you read, like, Rumoru, or you read, like, Slime Light novels or anything, um, whenever there's a character with, like, instantaneous speed, um, a measurable speed or anything, we're still naturally given a distance for when these things occur, or things like uh, a time frame or anything. So we're actually given a measurement to use to calculate speed. Whereas in for this, we're not. So you wouldn't even be able to use it as a speed feed. So wait, so you're saying there's no distance in this feed at all? No, I'm saying for you to use a speed feed, you would need a distance. Like, for example, somebody can have infinite or instantaneous speed, but we can still get a distance. Like, we can use that with Dragon Ball. You can use that with other things. Like, uh, you know, it's just consistent with other things <sighs> as well as multiple animes or mangas when it comes to power scaling. Okay, so the fact that there is a distance, these flames started off um, engulfing what's called Jigen from the head to toe, and then now they're shrunk to where they're not even visible. the panel before? Oh, yeah, sure, I got you. Let me grab this real quick. I don't have it on hand right now. I don't have it on my PC. I'm just going to have to go on my phone. Okay. Mm -hmm. What chapter even is this? Like 50. I'm trying to remember. 50, like three. Okay. Oh, do we have a burden rejoiner timer? I don't think we set one. No, that shit is disgusting. Okay. Like, obviously, like, don't like take like. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not gonna take forever. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna take forever. <laughs> okay. I found one of them, but this is like after the fact. I mean, it's the same flame, but I want to get the like panel right before this so it's not argued wrong. Uh, you're just looking for a panel that shows um, Ishiki uh, like before this, like taking the flames like from his uh, his waist and up or whatever. Oh, here it is, here it is. Here's the flames around his head. Both mm, those. Did I just get moved? Oh, I didn't, okay. No, I did bro. Okay, here's uh, the, like, since this was like kind of zoomed in, here's another like one of the scans of the flames for reference. 
Um, okay, let me look at it. Like the top one is afterward, but it's the same flame. It's the same flame he summoned. Okay, do you have the chapter for this? I'm trying to remember. I think it was. It's around fifty-two or fifty-three. I'm gonna just search it up. All right. How do you even spell his name? Kajin Koji. Oh, Kashin Koji. I didn't even know that. Okay, let me do this. Yeah, chapter 43 to like, I want to say 49, 43 to 49. Okay, <clears throat> let me skim through these real quick. Damn, fuck is wrong. Okay. Zoom through these real quick. Just go through here. So it's forty-three through forty-nine. Yeah. All right. Let me see what you posted on the panel. Okay, but it's not like it's impossible to teach all of you how to kill in the two. All right, I found it. Okay. <clears throat> well, this at least. Yeah, so even on this panel, um, which we see right here. Yeah, um, he's still not even shaking them like uh, instantly. As well as like um, the argument that you made previously, you were trying to like provide a distinction between Jigen and Ishiki by saying it's fine because obviously he stated that they were shrinking or they're almost like shrinking instantaneously for Jigen. And then you try to provide a, a, a distinction by saying, yeah, for Ishiki in context that they would be shaken uh, instantly. But in these panels specifically that I'm posting right now, um, we see actually there is a, a time that the flames have to shrink from, as well as in the starting panel, as you can see, the fuck can I post in my own skin? <laughs> Hold up. It's kind of weird. Oh yeah, so in this one, to post them one at a time. It's kind of weird. <laughs> but yeah, so directly oh, as you see in these panels, yeah, it says shrinking them. He's making them flame smaller using his ability. And then over time, we see the flame dispersing. And then we have these two final panels right here. Cruz, I want you to like, yeah. like read the rest of the chapter. That's all I have to say. He never, gets to, shrink, he never gets to shrink the flames in this form. He dies. The flames yeah, overwhelm him. Yeah, that's why I said, like, what are you arguing, like, specifically with Jigen? Okay, so, look, this right here, Jigen, he can't shrink these flames at all. Like, at all. Like, I don't yeah. know why you, you brought this up. Yeah, The, well, the that's, Ishiki that's version cool. just shrunk them immediately as soon as he yeah, came that's, that's out. that's the chapter that I thought you were referring to, though, like. No, no, no. So, look, the scan that I sent you, right? Hold on. It shows the outline of Ishiki, not Jigen. The scan that you showed me shows Jigen at the well, yeah. That's that's one. when he's dying. That's what I was talking about. Yeah. When so the scan at yeah the scan at the top though where you're showing Ishiki like it, it still shows. The okay. Flame. Oh, all right. Let me let, yeah. Let like, me make myself I get what you're arguing. So bro. I, I'm just saying I sent I sent okay. that I sent that scan of Jigen to show how high the flames came up because I was proving there was a distance for the flames to shrink. That's what I sent the scan for. I sent okay, it to show saying, how high. You're the saying the Ishiki. Are you saying this Ishiki panel happens after the Jigen one? Yes. Okay, so let me let me scroll through these and find the exact panel. Because yeah, I don't I don't necessarily like see what you're referring to directly. Yeah, if you uh, if you don't read it in order, it's gonna be confusing. Just like you gotta have to keep reading. Yeah, I, I, I mentioned in that I just scrolled through multiple panels. Is what I'm saying. I still don't even see this shit. Okay. All right, I got this.
Yeah, so. so. All right, there you go. Sorry, here you have found the panels. So um, this is the first panel um, that happened before that one that you're referring to. There's this, um, and there's this, and there's this, this. Wait. This. Okay, there you go. These are all the panels in order. Bro, what? <laughs> Discord sucks, bro. I don't know okay, why. They pop up. It's it's censoring my panels, bro. <laughs> it sent one of three. Yeah, I sent like four of them, and it just deleted all them shit. It's like, hold up, bro. You can just screen share the um the chapter, right? I'm just gonna record it. Okay. what happened before this what happens after and this what happens after that okay <clears throat> i just screen recorded it because it was kept deleting my shit but yeah looking at them scan shot yeah so that first can actually see me post is what happened before that scan so yes we actually do see a dissipate like we see dissipation uh, between the flames so that's him bursting was... what that's him bursting that's him bursting out of jigan's body you do know he lives inside of his ear right i'm talking about the voice the voice noise is the sound of the flames no that's him that's him switching to jigan okay can you i mean switching that? from jigan to ishiki yeah I, I got you okay <clears throat> Oh wait, no, 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 no! I got that confused with a different one. Yeah, that's yeah, just that's the smoke. The, the force is the sound. Yeah, the force should be the sound of the flames because that's why we see them paneled in, and then it's directly pointing towards the flame explosion. Wait, so you're saying the flames. smoke? Wait, you're saying the smoke okay. being displayed is showing like the flames having time to get get rid of? Is that yeah, what you're? The using? Smoke, smoke entails that smoke entails burning. Like as time or, or as an object burns or as an object shrinks or loses flame. There would be smoke that dissipates between the flame and the set smoke. Okay. So obviously, I, it's obviously if you just shrunk them all instantly, there shouldn't be smoke. If it's okay. infinite or just instantaneously. Something I do want to mention though about this instant argument. Um, I just wanted to see how you were arguing it, but it, it could literally just be ended right here. The word instant typically defines in, in a moment or a moment. A moment doesn't entitle a time frame at all. So whenever something says instant, when it says like instantaneously, or if it says in an instant, that doesn't have to be literally at zero. It could just be zero to three seconds. It can be any un uh, unquantifiable time frame for what something happens. So when it even qualifies the speed, like I said, as well as it being inconsistent. Okay, wait, hold on. So. All right, so number one, uh, the smoke thing, I want you to think about putting a fire out with the water. Smoke still yeah. exists after the fire. It's going that, to stay there. That's just okay. how it works. That's and then on top of that, but I'll explain why. No, I'm just saying. Just saying. I was like, finished. The fire is not actually gone, anyways. It's just shrunken down to a small size. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, when you get that instantaneous definition, where'd you grab that definition from? I would like to see that. Uh, or was that your own interpretation? No, I just like I just said what I know the definition is, but I'll get it for you. Like literally, defined in Oxford, it's gonna say like pretty much the same thing. Like, okay. Um, is this? Yep, thought so. <laughs> well, yeah. Um, this is the definition that Oxford uses: instant. Um, I could get the kanji and probably translate directly, and it probably wouldn't even say instantaneously because typically they don't even use kanji like that in Japanese. But even with the word set aside, um, as you can see right here, the noun for it is literally just a precise moment in time. And then the adjective, whenever it's implying an action, and in this scene is implying an action, it says happening or coming immediately. Um, but this is in perspective to something, because like, let's say like your mom was to come through the front door of your house, or you had something happen, like your game turned off right after you hit the power button, it happened immediately. Like you wouldn't be like, yeah, uh, my game took 30 seconds to power up. You would be speaking about it in a perspective-based situation. And immediate just depends on the perspective. It doesn't entitle a time frame. I can Google immediate for you right now and get the Oxford definition. It's not going to say 
instantaneously. And, uh, again, this wouldn't even qualify for a speed feat um, because, like I said, it's inconsistent with the Naruto series for them to even be that fast. And this just implies a unquantifiable time frame that doesn't necessitate speed. Um, and I noticed that you watched the screen recording, but it doesn't even seem like you really concurred or you like responded to the part that Ashiki was like stroking the totem poles as well as the objects behind them. And we actually see them shrinking on panel. And I don't even feel like you really kind of like refuted or responded to, you know, said argument. But I'll let you like respond before I dive into more forms of organization. So. Okay, first of all, those totem poles are not being shrunken. They're being spawned in from his, what's it called? Um, if you read even further from there, it's he explains how he can spawn in his things from his dimension where he stores things where time doesn't exist. And that'll be my next point that I'll be moving on to. He's able to shrink and store things in that t uh, dimension where time does not exist. So therefore, if he did that in the real world, it would be um, instantaneous. No time wait, would pass over wait, him doing wait, that. Wait, wait, wait. I don't, I don't think, I don't think you're reading it. Um, I just read the chapter, bro. Uh, literally on the panel, I'm not even trying to be like a dickhead, but like on the same panel, it literally shows those poles that are behind him in the panel. He literally rips out of the ground and begins to shrink them. It literally happens. He has because, other. He he crushes. Wait, 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 wait. I'm not. I'm no, not no, saying. No, wait, 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 one second. Let me let me finish my argument, right? I'm not saying that he can't store shit or he can't bring it out of his dimension. I'm specifically saying in, in this case, these poles, literally he was standing on top of them. And I can get you the panels for that just in case you think I'm being disingenuous. I just grab the direct panels. Yeah, so he's literally just standing on them or like leaned up against them. And then literally after this, Ashiki begins to shrink these same poles and rip them out of the ground. And that's literally what happens in context. And then he circles his body with the poles. And we see like the spikes at the bottom because he's ripping them out of the ground. So like, I don't even get where you're getting this from. I just read the chapter. The chapter is chapter 47. Yeah. So. Okay. Where I'm getting this from is like the scene after this, where he crushes Kajin Koji with those poles. And then he explains where he got them from. I'm not talking about this one. I didn't even see that okay. scan that you sent. Wait, one second, I watched the please. video for the what's called poof that you were um, explaining. Um, Koji right the plan. Da, 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 let me find him directly. I don't know. You said where he crushes him. He's random. Okay, yeah. So uh, again, like, <laughs> um, to prove even furthermore why I'm right, I just got this panel that says he's randomly shrinking everything he catches side off as he planned to destroy the whole space, and then he's referencing that. And when he catches them with the poles, I'm gonna try to grab for you too as well. Uh, forty eight. I'm just gonna rip them out of the ground. I can grab the scan for you if you want it. I'm not reading through the whole chapter right now. Um. Yeah, this doesn't even matter. Like, here. So. You said it doesn't matter. No, I'll explain to you why it doesn't matter. So, yeah, this is the first panel right here. This is him continuing to literally rip them out of the ground and shrink them. This is the panel afterwards where he literally, like, rips them out, and then he reappears them in full size, and then he makes them surround Cash and Koji's body. And then you see it right here to where he's stuck between them, and then he says, yeah, this jutsu allows me to store what I've shrunk in a dimension where time doesn't flow. The whole time he was using the jutsu while shrinking those inanimate objects out of the ground and ripping them and then reappearing them in full size, which you can see here. And then he says, and I can retrieve them whenever I want. And then he does that with the wine glass, like his notorious pose. Like, so it's definitely consistent that, yeah, even if he did have those pillars and those were his pillars and like in action, it wouldn't even matter considering the fact that he's reappearing the pillars and ripping them out of the ground. So. Like both so of our interpretations, Wait, both what I'm saying to you essentially, Barzo Bose, is both of our interpretations don't have to be mutually exclusive. They can both exist at the same time. They can both be his his pillars or his columns. But at the same time, like I said, they can still be shrunk and ripped out of the ground because they were initially here within his space. And we see him do that on panel. And I posted that three or four different times. So Okay, cool. So your point is with this, I'm still on the point where he can use this ability where time doesn't flow. Okay, you're arguing time doesn't flow here? That's what he said. That's his own statement. 
not the. <clears throat> Did you post a panel for it? Oh, okay. No, you're talking about you the post posted the panel. Oh yeah, this YouTube allows me to shrink what I've. Uh, this YouTube allows me to store what I've shrunk in a dimension where time doesn't flow. Again, yeah, this is like the notorious, I guess, like wink. You can say it doesn't matter because what he's referencing is the dimension where he stores these objects. I know not that in the dimension to where he's shrinking these up, not in the dimension to where um they are currently present. So he just puts them in. A, he just puts them. Wait, wait. He just puts them in a realm to where time doesn't flow. You can argue. Um, right. And this isn't. He's not in this dimension. Uh, he just shrinks arguments to there. Now wait, hold on. Let me ask you. What does he use to put those things in the dimension? Um, you can use a technique. That doesn't necessarily mean the technique has like a measurable speed or anything. I'm not saying immeasurable. I'm just saying what like. What does he use? Do he you know what he uses? Ability. Okay, so that's his eye, right? His just eye? Mm -hmm. Okay, like, what are you trying to get at? Like, can you kind of... I'm just, I'm just saying that, that this is his eye's ability. We're, we're both agreeing on this, right? Um, I don't, I don't necessarily, like, agree to, like... Okay, because we see this happen with his hands. Like, I don't even necessarily... No, that, that's his hands in his deacon form. And in his actual Ishiki form, every single time he does this, it zooms into his face, like right into his eye, and then it happens. I should give you a panel. You can post it. <clears throat> I don't. I fail to understand like why there's like I don't know. This correlates to a speed argument whatsoever. Kind of just seems like an irrelevant tangent. Okay, hold on. Then this one. This is when he pops it out of the dimension on Naruto. Okay, let me see. I'm gonna get the second panel right after this one. No, it's not that far down. <clears throat> okay, yeah, uh, you're you're posting this, and then it, it panels on. So I okay, like what is what is the argument that stems from this? Even if I like allowed it, like what happens? Like what are you arguing for this? Oh, I'm, I'm just, we're, we're, I'm just trying to get a common agreement that this is his eyes ability. I'll later on. I'll yeah, like, like I said, like, even if I, if I steal man, it's like, what does this happen? Like, what does this correlate to? And this correlates to his speed as well. Why? Because this is his attack speed. No. Okay. Yeah. So the, what, would, what would it correlate to is the fact that he shrinks it and then it appears in a different dimension. This doesn't correlate to his, his actual combat speed. You would have to show a correlation. Like, for example, you would have to be like, um, it's, it's similar in functionality to like Gojo's ability and JJK reminds me of um, in terms of like perceiving something and then trying to use it for his speed feet. An example would be like, okay, well, let's say he shrinks this or he shrinks objects. And then after he shrinks the objects, they go to a, uh, like I said, a space where time doesn't flow. So he's able to storm these things, like, like store them eternally. Um, after doing that, let's say something was stored in there, right? Um, somebody would have to directly be in this dimension or move in this realm without time. And this doesn't happen in the context that you're referring to. So that's no, you I'm, wouldn't be able to use it as a speed feet. Like that's what I'm his eye to. His eye is the one who brings things in that dimension and brings his things eye, out of his that eye, dimension. Okay, his eye can bring things to the dimension, but that's not mean that his combat speed scales to the dimension itself. Like there's no correlation his, here. His Again, combat speed is based, like in these feats that I'm showing. His, his, his combat his speed eye. is based off the dimension. No, 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 look, that's not what I'm saying. Oh my God. Yeah. He's returning these items in this, in the panels that okay. I'm through that, through that ability. That's what okay. I'm saying. I, I get what, I get what you're saying. I, I just don't feel like you're understanding like the basics of scaling here. Like if you have an ability, like if let's say we use like Kamui, right? If you're able to transport something to a different dimension with Kamui, right? That's like essentially saying, yeah, I transported this to a different dimension, but I'm going to assert the fact that my combat speed or my physical attack potency scales to this dimension because I'm able to transport stuff to the dimension. Uh, again, you have to show. Uh, again, you have to show a correlation, like via Occam's razor. I'm because right now, that. okay, right now, what I'm saying to you, bars of balls, is you're trying to assert the value because he has an ability that can transfer things to a realm without time. I'm asking if you could actually prove that he's able to go to this realm without time, or he's able to move consistently. To the point where he would scale to the realm without time. Well, again, this isn't a speed feat. This is him just transferring things to a dimension similar to Kamoi. I'm not scaling him off of the dimension. I said that twice. You did. You said you, you try to use it for combat speed. You literally did. Okay, you're not getting what I'm telling you. Listen, okay. listen, slow, nice and easy. I'm going to be more concise on this one. Yeah. He's using this ability, his eye, right? 
his eye is has the ability to bring objects from a dimension where time does not move and control them, right? Yes or no? I'm, I'm you said just his ability point for point. His uh, his ability is the ability to control things that exist in a dimension with no time, basically summing it up. He's able to control things in the dimension yep. with he's no time. He's able to time. bring them in and out, shrink okay. them. And yeah, he's able to bring enlarge. them in and out to a dimension without time. Within okay, con now within let me continue. Of this scan, yes. Okay, so would you agree that his eye does not have require any time to pass? For no, his ability because to work? we see the no because we see the abilities or the direct inanimate objects have time to shrink. And again, that's a different because, ability. That, okay, that's that's uh, again, a good Are you gonna let me refer? Or are you gonna let me like? Oh my God, <laughs> okay, right. you're not even letting me refute. Like you kind of like got on me earlier for like talking over people than like you're doing right now. So in context, like I said, um, you're trying to argue like, okay, is it not his ability to do this in functionality? But I'm simply saying to you that this doesn't matter within functionality because you can't prove it skills like. Uh, essentially, I'll write this out in like a syllogistic format. Like we're just like, I don't know, I'll just paraphrase it and just put it in statements. I'm not even gonna do all that right now. I'm too tired for that. Um, I'll just do this. Uh so Billy. I'm gonna type this out to make it more legible so we can be on the same page with each other. Sure. <laughs> To mm -hmm. from a dimension with no time, P. Okay, C. Okay, so I typed this in scans to make it like more illegible for you to see. Um, the first point, like we're kind of on, is like point A. Um, I don't even know why it didn't just fucking bracket it down. It's weird. Let me put a double space. Okay, yeah, boom. The first point is ability can bring things to and from a dimension with no time. The second sub point or sub, uh, like I said, uh, sub premise is the dimension has no time, not the observable space. The observable space that we can see is what is on the panel, as well as Naruto. Ishiki, Cash, and Koji, and what we see them move through. Whereas C, I'm purely asking the correlation because even if he has an ability that can bring these things to and from a dimension with no time, why does he eccentrically scale to the dimension with no time if we only see them within the observable universe? Now, if you're going to argue the ability has the functionality, in a sense, you can argue like similar to like, um, I don't know if you read the, the Flying Raj and the, the Thunder God data book statement, but an example is like, okay, um, something can transcend space and time, but that does not necessarily correlate to just raw speed because they can transcend space and time in the sense that it teleports. Just like this can transcend space and time in the function that it's able to hop between dimensions. But that does not mean that the object actually has such speed or neither does the ability. And that's like a perfect ex analogous example for why this wouldn't qualify for a speed feed. Like, um, I'd have to refute that. I'm saying, what I'm saying, all right, let me just go through and finish my point for like once. The the ability, right, can move, can function where time does not exist. So if he used that ability where time does exist, no time would pass. That's literally my only point. That's that's all I'm saying. Okay, so I'm you saying that it's tricky. Wait, 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 wait. One second, because I think you just try to provide the correlation. Repeat that last part one more time. What last part? The last part you just said. Like you just said it like ten seconds. It would take so. no time. Yeah, you said it would no take time? no time for what? For it to be restored? Okay. Or prove brought back? That, okay, prove that via burden of proof that the ability scales to his combat or reaction speed. Combat or reaction speed? Yes. Prove oh, via okay. burden of proof, yes. That, that's the issue that you've been, like, stuck at for, like, five minutes. I don't, oh, I don't think you, you know, can you assert know, anything you know, via what? burden I got, of proof. I got this. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. I got this. Okay. I'll say it does... Ishiki does not scale to this ability that way. I'll say that. I'll okay. say that. But however Naruto does. Okay. Why do you think Naruto scales above this ability? And why does this ability that Naruto scales above? He doesn't scale above. He scales relative okay. to it. Okay. Why does Naruto even scaling relative to this ability have anything to do with the eccentric value of the space that he transports the object have been no time? So, for example... 
let's say he he shrinks or he just teleports up. I just I even I was I was steel man for teleportation at this point. It really doesn't fucking matter at all. So let's just say like he teleports an object um to a space and the space has zero time, no time whatsoever, right? Whenever he transports the object, as soon as it's in within that 3D space, as it transfers to another 3D space, or you can argue a four-dimensional space, it, it wouldn't even matter. Um, eccentrically, at the point to where it gets to the other space, that's when the object would be in zero time. But when he returns it, it would not scale to um, have an inaccessible speed, neither would it scale to an object being able to move at that speed within this observable world. So all I'm asking you to do is prove that when he shrinks these things in either dimensionality or transports them to a different dimension, that they eccentrically scale to things within the observable world in speed. And I'm asking you to prove that via the burden of proof because it just seems like ad nauseum and you're just like repeating yourself over and over and over again. Um, and you're not actually proving that these things scale to the observable world in terms of speed. Like even the Naruto or the Naruto example that you're attempting to give me wouldn't matter within context because if you show Naruto moving relative to the ability or trying to react or dodge this ability in a higher form of transformation, it doesn't matter because Naruto isn't in that observable, I mean, uh, not in the observable world. He's not in that space that has zero time to even scale to the space. Keep anything, he would just scale to the teleportation and not the actual space. So uh, again, like none of this actually whoa, proves whoa, whoa, it. Wait, 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 slow down, slow down, slow down. What was the last thing yeah. you said? I said, if anything, you would argue that he would scale to it via teleportation, yeah. not yeah. via to the observable space. Wait, but then wait, even wait, wait, then, wait, wait, wait. okay. Wait, okay, hold on, one hold on. Second, one I'm second. Stop you there. We'll stop okay, you there. one second, one second before you try to make a disingenuous claim and try to cut me off, and then it responds like a half truth, right? Um, what I'm saying That's to you is, even if he scales to the teleportation you would then have to prove how fast is the teleportation for the technique before you just assert the value like Naruto is reacting to instantaneous teleportation. So therefore he has infinite speed. Like, again, these are like a bunch of different sets of burdens of proof that you have to prove and you haven't demonstrated any of them or provided any logical soundness to your arguments. So, are you done? Yeah, you okay. can respond. So, so after this, um, like I'll go off of what you said. I give, uh, I give you that. Teleportation. He scales to this teleportation. Um, like you said in your example, this is just a teleportation technique. You are aware that teleportation is considered instantaneous in the Naruto verse, right? You said I am aware that what? Naruto is uh, uh, teleportation is considered instantaneous in the Naruto verse. It's consistent. Teleportation is considered instantaneous in the Naruto verse. Okay, so do you think Obito's Kamui is uh, instantaneous? His is a portal. That's different. Opening um, portals no is not the same as just regular that's space time. You made the claim. I don't. I don't care for a clarification. The initial claim that you made is literally that teleportation equal instantaneous. Teleportation equals instantaneous speed. I you on my fault. I don't agree that the uh, Kamui would be teleportation. Okay. Do you want a data book scan or be proven to you that it's teleportation within context? Sure. Go ahead. Yeah. <clears throat> um, here you go. Um, yo, hello? I'm here. I'm waiting for you. Hello? Can you not hear? Okay. Yeah, okay, yeah. I like fucking got hit hard out of the VC. I was like, bro, why is my shit lagging? Um, oh, yeah. that's what it was. Yeah, so here's the scan directly out of the book. Um, yeah, the scan just has an unmatched jutsu that changes the dimension of the villa world and ocular jutsu of Kakashi's unreleased version. Um, unreleased 
from Mangekyo Sharingan, it makes it possible transference of any object to another world. Obviously, in context, we know that Obito works the same way, but he does it with his physical body instead of teleporting an object to it because we know that they're linked. Um, it literally says within the scan that it transfers any object to another world. Um, now, the definition of teleportation is going to be like more semantical, which is why this argument is like cancer inherently. But let me get this for you. The definition of teleportation or to teleport is literally just to transport, be transported across the space or distance instantly. So he literally just transported something across the distance because it's traveling to another dimension or another world within context. And like I okay. said, before you before you try to like pick semantically at instantly and be like, well, it doesn't happen directly at zero or we don't see it happen instantaneously within the scene. I already told you why like instantaneously using an objective sense or a noun sense implies in a moment, and a moment is completely subjective on perspective. So yeah. Okay. So nowhere in the scan where it says teleportation, this is all up to uh, how you perceive this. And I perceive it as Obito opens portals as it's visually shown in the okay. Naruto Shippuden series. He does not a actively teleport people in one okay. shot. He has to you, either you work think, you think or Obito, open portals. Okay, one second. You think Obito opens portals? Yes, I can show you a scan. Okay. So, so you, don't, you don't think Obito transports himself to a different space? Like he doesn't have that ability? He does that via warping himself. Okay. His own do, you, do you know what the definition of teleporting is that I just read to you? Teleportation? Yeah. The definition of teleportation is literally just to transport yourself to another space. Oh my God. That's not my. Oh God. I'm using a different type of teleportation. The tel type of teleportation. Uh, yeah, but I'm she just asked me. Wait, situation? earlier you just asked me. You just asked me to prove that it's teleportation. I just gave you an Oxford definition of what teleportation is within context, and I yeah, just but... explained to you. Wait, wait. I explained to you why it would be teleportation using just the general knowledge of what the data books can use. And now you're basically trying to tell me that you're using like a sense of colloquial set definitions to prescribe what teleportation would be within context and, and even if you go this route like i said there's verbatim jutsus um or other things in the data book like flying thunder god or rajin that literally just say teleport like within the jutsu like so uh, okay now let me refute that yeah obito's kamui right well i'm talking about the teleportation that vsbw has listed the one where it says it doesn't qualify for a speed feed if you're using it but that type of instantaneous teleportation i'm not talking about the oxford definition of teleportation because obviously there's different things that they go into research for that so when you say teleportation in real life you don't actually mean like i'm gonna just straight up teleport like an enderman to some random place that's why Oxford definition varies from the VSB. You said, you said, okay, so you're using a VSB set definition? Yes. Okay, and that just matters within context before the debate. We already went over semantically why I don't even agree to those definitions. An this is part of a speech like, here. Okay, no. Um, an example for the VSB thing that I'm referring to is like, um, like the stupid happy argument to be like, yeah, Luffy doesn't fly on VSB. They call it pseudo flight. Like the, I don't, I don't agree to like these retarded definitions. If you're that's able to fly via Oxford, then I think that you're flying. I'm, I'm using um, a, a speed tier for, definition. I'm not using any for, for footnotes. What, what I'm not using foot, footnotes. I'm not using footnotes here. I'll show you. You're using, you're using a speed definition for what? Like what speed is this? In uh, at hold on. No, inex yeah, somebody infinite, just type inaccessible. Speed. Inaccessible is non VSB. Uh, for the I didn't say inaccessible. No, I'm not saying you said that. I'm saying for the person that just typed that. Here, here's the definition I copied and pasted. Um, you said infinite speed. Mm -hmm. That's infinite. Part of infinite speed. speed has nothing to do with teleportation within context. That's, that was my point. Yeah, then why does this matter? Okay, so look, like, look, 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 wait, wait, one second, one second. Oh why my god, you feel the need. Talk. You, you just asked me, like, you just made a claim that I wanted to respond. And to then you asked me a question, ahead, and then I ahead, tried to answer it, and ahead, you cut me ahead. off. Go ahead. Okay. So, in this definition, they wouldn't have brought up teleportation unless it was considered instantaneous in this situation. So, part of an instantaneous speed definition, they said teleportation does not count, as it is not actual speed. So, they're, they're aware that teleportation is instantaneous in this situation. That's why they included it in this definition. Therefore, if you're a character who uses your actual speed to react to teleportation, you would gain infinite speed. No. Okay. So, in context, I'm looking at the definition of versus about a wiki. Um, person who's debated all this literally. 
Um, it literally says able to travel anywhere instantly or move in an infinite distance with a finite amount of time. The reason why this is even described here, because I, I'm pretty sure you don't even know this because I don't even think you were around back then, is because there was a debate on if inaccessible speed equals infinite speed and what's the difference between moving in zero time and then moving in a, uh, a finite distance instantaneously. And then they just disagree that inaccessible speed would be like a higher tier of infinite speed. So that's why they prescribe teleportation there. And to show you why in context it makes more sense is because it says teleportation does not count and then it says for for the information, see four, five, and seven. And if you go to four, because I hate I hate footnotes, like I told you, it directly just says with any setting that lacks time or exists outside the flow of time cannot be used to grant infinite speed. So outside the flow of time or that lacks time cannot be used. So in your exact definition for what you're trying to prescribe for infinite speed, this doesn't even work because it literally says there's no time there. So you kind of just debunked and disproved yourself, like using your own line of logic. Wait, what was I scaling? I was scaling the shrinking though, not the diocotin. You just, <laughs> bro, I don't want to call you like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna call you I don't want to call you like a rat or seeing you're like you're being okay. disingenuous. But like you literally started off the debate and I'm pretty sure Dark Star has been recording it. You started off the first thing we went over was the shrinking ability. Um that I, I proved to you why instantaneously doesn't provide a moment of time. I mean it doesn't provide instant, literally. It just provides a moment of precise time. So it could literally be zero to three seconds, which I said on recording. After that, we went on to try, well, you went on to try to prove that um, this ability, whatever he transfers it to in a dimension with zero time that has no time, you've been trying to argue correlates to some type of reaction or speed feed. And that's literally on recording. Like, so, and now you're trying to switch back and say, yeah, I wasn't talking about the ability. I was talking about the shrinking, but I already addressed the shrinking like earlier. So it just seems like you're just trying to like wank Naruto to like infinite or immeasurable or infinite or inaccessible or immeasurable speed. Um, instead of actually focus on scale and that matters, like, um, but you're on mute. I'm gonna wait. I just went AFK for like 20 seconds. What did she say? Oh my gosh. Okay. So what I what I what I said to you verbatim is it's literally on recording. But initially, what we started on was the premise of if his shrinking ability literally happens at an instant versus it happened instantaneously and then instantaneously representing a moment of time, which could be a zero to three second time frame or perspective base of how long somebody thinks it takes. And I gave the analogy with the door or with your Xbox and with other things that you can use. And then in context for this ability where you store stuff in a dimension with zero time, that's the point that we were on. And now you just try to jump back to the shrinking point that I already addressed. So, so again, like, it sounds like you're being disingenuous and you're just hopping between like different definitions, trying to wake Naruto to infinite or inaccessible speed instead of scale them to like, I don't know, something more logical like light speed or FTL. Okay. So your point is? Yeah, so are you gonna actually like go somewhere instead of like trying to like repeat something I already addressed earlier? I, I don't know what's going on in your background, but that's just kind of like a but... Hold on, give me a second. Sounds like a hot pocket is being made and like dishes being washed or something. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, brother. <laughs> Two more fallacies, Kuros, and you lose. This chat is disgusted. Oh, my God. Um. Okay, I'm back. I had to make me something to eat. 
it was the hot pocket. No. Pizza rolls. Yeah. Oh. Hey. <laughs> All right, bro. Um. So yeah, you on? heard. You heard. You heard what I responded with. Essentially, I just said that like we initially started with the primacy of what was his shrinking ability what if it was instant then i provided like i said the momentary like uh, in a moment just depends on the perspective i gave multiple analogies for that then we hopped on if his ability um actually skill like he actually skills his ability or something does then we brought up the zero time thing and then you refuted with no i was referring to the shrinking so you just went back to a point that we already addressed and now it just seems like you're running in circles on ad nauseum we're just going to keep repeating ourselves Instead of you just trying to give like a Naruto FTO feed or something, instead of just like wanking the character, like something that's not even needed. Like, <laughs> this isn't working. Like, the teleportation point is kind of like failing. The teleportation point? Oh, yeah, 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 we're selling the teleportation point. Yeah, this, 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 like I said, it's kind of just uh, retarded, like, um, derail from something that you should actually be arguing. <laughs> Are you sneezing? Yeah, I sneezed. Uh, sounded like you were coughing and sneezing at the same time. Um, teleportation. What was on? What did I say about teleportation? Does not count for. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, I didn't see the footnote. Um, you disagreed to footnotes though. That wasn't the point of. Okay, so the point of me, the point of me saying that I disagreed was to say that if they provide something like pseudo flight or they use something within context to be like, yeah, this is an inconsistency, which I said before the debate even started, was to provide to you that if you can provide that as a consistency, I don't think that you have to objectively agree that it's inconsistent, like versus Battle Wiki does. It, the point was just to leave things to interpretation. But what you directly try to use is an infinite speed note. And then while using the infinite speed note, like I said, it seems like you were just misinformed or you weren't around back then. So I give you context of the distinction between infinite and inaccessible speed, which is the reason why they have teleportation there in the first place. And then I told you why. And then the reason they have it like that is because of the note, which I just read. So it wasn't like I was just trying to appeal to the note or directly agree to them. I just gave my own line of logic for why it was consistent, which is what I referred to earlier. So, like, it wasn't like I was ratting on you or like trying to shaft you or anything. Like, nah. I could do immeasurable, but I don't want to. Bro, like, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest. Like, bro, I've, I've read the whole series. This shit's not going to work. You might as well just try to scale them to like FTL or something. Like, I don't even have a like actual Naruto scale. I don't scale Naruto, but bro. <laughs> oh, I think I have a calc actually. Hold on. Okay, bro. I thought I thought this was what was happening when you wanted to take like a Baruto versus like Naruto debate. I mean, a Baruto versus a One Piece debate. Like what? Yeah, because you you kind of just like been like, yeah, I don't even scale Naruto, but the point of even debating you was to like scale, like <laughs> do a Baruto versus One Piece matchup. Boruto versus one. Wait, is that what you said in your live? Someone told me that in your comments. No, uh, okay. Essentially, what I'm saying to you, Baruto balls, is like it, I'm not even gonna. I don't want to call you dishonest because I don't want to be mean, but it it sounds like you kind of went up to me intending to debate me on Boruto or Naruto versus what? luffy which with most people do within context and then we kind of agreed to debate the topic and now you're like i don't even scale the character that i agreed to use like what the hell like that kind of seems like disingenuous or you're like trying to cover your ass like <laughs> yeah you can you can get the calc i'm probably already aware of it what is it uh conary the moon calc Okay, I disagree. It's based off the polar particle perspective, no. uh, which, which Naya made. No. I know, I know the calc you're referring to, like, no. like literally. <laughs> you already, you're already off. You said polar particle. You're wrong. Yeah, it's in the same thing. It's literally in the Sasuke Retsuden. Like, nope. If you're talking this about the, the Toneri, okay, wait. If you're talking about the Toneri one verbatim from the last, then that's still wrong. Like, it has nothing to do with polar particles or Sasuke. Did you not hear the second thing I just said? If you're talking about the ordinary one for the last, it's still wrong. Do you even know is what it, scale it is? It is? I, okay. I want you to, I want, 
what what what's the end? What, no need. It's inside okay, the schema. Okay. You just asked me a question. I'm saying there's no need for me to verbatim name it. That's why I'm jumping around saying, is it this? Is it this? Because I know every single Naruto speed skill in the series. Like, that's why I'm asking you what you're referring to so I can give it for you. Oh, Tonary throwing, throwing the moon. Tonary throwing the moon. Tonary throwing the moon? Okay. <laughs> And you're trying to use this, you're trying to necessitate it for a speed calc. Are you sure you're referring to the are you sure you're referring to the moon throw instead of the moon slice? The moon throw. Okay. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, yeah. Do, 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 do. I have that in my notes. I just got disconnected. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. <laughs> All right, I just got disconnected from call again. <clears throat> but yeah, um, I just looked up the Tonary one. Uh, the person the the calc even comes from initially or inherently is literally just this. referring to it. Okay, what? I made this calc myself. Nobody else has this calc. Okay, because there's, there's already a cop for it, but you can post it, sure. I posted it. Okay, let me look. Um, <laughs> moon weighs, okay, moon weighs and that 1.8 quintillion ton large asteroids. Okay. Uh, Tonary throwing I'm just curious to so, ask, is this the moon in so where you, Yeah, where you get in, yeah, because where you get in it from for the moon, because one point eight quintillion tons is not even the weight of the moon. Like, it is. It's ah. not. The, the weight of the moon. <laughs> like, I don't know if it's just like, you like trolling, but like, no. Um, <laughs> nah, the, the equivalent to the moon, like, um, it depends on how you scout, like, how you calculate, depending on it, but there's different measurements that you get, but some of them would equate to, like, 73.5 million metric tons, and even the other ones would just equate to overall, like, uh, what's the other count that they have for the moon? Um, when is, like, the moon's mass is, like, 7.35 times 10 to the 22nd kgs, and even that doesn't even equal, like, what you're posting in a calc. There's like a, a bunch of different ways to get the, the weight of the moon, and none of these even match up. And then the large asteroid part, large asteroids are moons that oppose a threat to destroy a world that have to be moving at 76,000. Yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> oh my God. All right, all right, I'm gonna stop trolling. I'm gonna stop trolling. All right. Okay. I'm gonna stop trolling. <laughs> uh, I really do need some Naruto skills, though. Okay, so do you have um, you have anywhere you want to scale the speed to, or, or is that let's it? Let's do, let's do superhuman speed. I like that superhuman speed. Okay, so you think Naruto has superhuman speed? Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah, so why why does that like match up against like a massively faster than light Luffy? Um, I haven't seen you prove Luffy's massively faster than light yet. Okay, I'll post that. One second. <laughs> I'm just going to use the cup. But no, I'm not going to use that. I'm just going to use this shit. <clears throat> yeah, so um, do you know, like, Ichiji's attack? Or no, you don't no, know? No, one piece of the fiber. Okay. Oh All right, so I'll just use this. So... Obviously, Luffy was able to react to like light speed attacks, uh, pre time skip and post time skip at the beginning of it. Um, but just to provide further more consistency, I'm just gonna post these panels first. Uh, let me get this for you. What the fuck, bro? Oh, I don't, ew, shit's not colored. I don't want to use that shit. <laughs> Bruh. I want to use a colored panel. All right, here you go. 
<clears throat> yeah, so even characters like ETG are able to use light speed attacks with their uh their sword. Um, it's also consistent for like characters like um well it's it's consistent for Niji, my fault. Niji uses a light speed blade and attacks at light speed. ETG is able to blitz lasers, um, and he's able to shoot them ahead of the time. So he shoots lasers and he's able to blitz his light speed lasers, um, which would be an FTL feat, you could argue. But even then, I just put it at relativistic plus, and I'll show you a scan for that. Um, there you go. One uh, one question before you continue: How fast is light yeah. speed in one, uh, one piece? I don't. I don't think that's necessarily need to be proven. I'm just gonna say one C. Do you know what like a C means in metrics? Nope. Okay, so typically whenever scaling speed in a series or an anime or manga, um, most people use like the metric 1C, which is just to like determine what it like, how much of the speed of light it is in context. Like if you're rel, you're like relativistic plus, if you're like 30% into the speed of light, um, they would have that there for relativistic. But if you're like a C into it, 1C would equate to uh, being the light speed, or in this case for ECG moving at that speed. So, yeah, I'm just using the C metric. Yeah, I can use a relativistic. It wouldn't even matter because in context, his attack is light speed and characters are able to blitz, you know, Niji. So. Wait, so you're saying relativistic? Or no. You, you, you'd be down to use relativistic? No, I'm saying that I can use relativistic as a metric. All relativistic means is around the speed of light. So if something is like 30% the speed of light, then they'll have like rel plus. Um, if something is like, uh, then they'll have like sub row below there, like row below row plus, um, and et cetera, et cetera. Right. But for, in this case, a C, when I say like Nietzsche is able to move at one C, C just determines a character moving at light speed, or if you have two C, three C, et cetera. Um, so I'm just telling you that Nietzsche is able to move at light speed essentially and characters blitz Nietzsche. Okay. So another question, how did you determine that the, uh, speed of light? And one piece is one C. How do I determine that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Like, so what was essentially, your okay. So, for us to claim anything in an animanga um, without making an appeal to reality, because technically an appeal to reality is just implied is that something within fiction can't be different due to it being different in the real world. A perfect example is being like, well, um, in real life, air can't move at faster than light speeds, but then you're trying to determine that one piece and one piece it can. Um, and then you're going to be like, yeah, that can't be the case because in real life it can't happen. For us to assert any value in an anime manga, we need to have a metric or a perspective that we can base things off of. So if I'm going to say something like, hey, I'm looking at Naruto or Baruto or One Piece, and there's like water and something seems to be like a lake, a fair assumption is to assume it's a lake. So for metric sakes and for Occam's razor sakes, it's a fair assumption to assume that light speed in one piece moves at light speeds in real life without appealing to reality. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to claim anything in fiction because then you could look at like grass in Naruto and I'm going to ask you to prove that that's grass. I'm going to be like, yeah, prove that's dirt, prove this is a meteor, prove that's this. It just comes into like a bunch of proof and an, an infinite regression over and over and over again. So we don't even continue in dialectics. Plus, he's, oh. plus he's, plus he's blade. Can replace monsters bad? They're about to flip out. So, um, yeah, you can go ahead and send why this applies to Luffy. All right, so um, let me get this. Let me post this other thing before I go on to that. The fuck? Let me get this. Okay, boom. Uh, it's him blitzing this. And then there's the Luffy PX feed. Okay, are you familiar with like Luffy dodging the PXs or no? Or are you not even caught up to that? Nope, not. Okay. So let me let me just post the panel. Okay, yeah, this is the feed I'm referring to when Luffy is able to dodge games of light. The only reason I even posted those scans is to show you while somebody's able to move at light speed in one piece, the functionality for it is still equated. 
um, due to the fact that they should be made out of photons. Um, the PXs use stuff like light beams literally verbatim from Kizaru. And then we have a, a general assumption because characters like Vegapunk and uh, the Vin Smokes were working together. So to assume that something is photons, when we know that in One Piece, typical light speed attacks are made out of photons is a fair assumption. Um, and I could guess you a scan that literally just says uh, the PX lasers are just light speed, essentially, via it being key. Um, and I get that for you. Uh, <clears throat> here you go. Here's a Hawkins scan. Bro, people yeah, this is this is the Hawkins scan where it just says that it's Kizru's lasers. And then on the bottom it says that he's able to reproduce Kizru's ability. Kizru is able to use light speed attacks. Um that's just proving consistency within like photons as well as light speed things in one piece. So for the Luffy feat, um, we know that Luffy is able to react to a light speed attack, which would put him at relativistic, and I can get you a count for that. Um relativistic. Yeah, let me get to my notepad one second. I got the calc I adapted somewhere. Do, 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 do. All right, here you go. <laughs> yeah, so the panel you see posted above is uh, based off of Luffy's perspective of calling the light speed attack slow. Um, we know that characters in One Piece um, are able to react to attacks even while using things like observation hockey in context. So him using observation hockey wouldn't matter because we know that like Kaido is able to blitz characters while using it. You still have to be fast enough to react to said attack. And then we have these two, um, which is just a pixel scale and metrics um, and perspective of Luffy moving at that speed and being able to dodge the said light speed attack from close range. And it would come up to be relativistic or otherwise um, you can see it in mock measurements. So yeah, obviously relativistic, like I told you, and you didn't really have a contention with before, would be relative to the speed of light and perspective. And if you're 50% rel, then you would be 50% of the speed of light and so on and so on. And characters in one piece multiple times faster, which I can show you of the reason why they would be that conceived. So <laughs> you have a problem so far? Um, who made this pixel scaling? Um, this is one on VSB as well as one that I like um I also tweaked. So one on VSB. Yeah, I also tweaked it because VSB is ass like <laughs> Okay, what what were your tweaks? I'll do the math right now. So was my tweaks. I mean, the only way you can have a problem with it unless you determine that Luffy's PXs were wrong. Like, do you know that pixel scaling is based off of the amount of pixels in a frame? So do you think that the pixel measurements are wrong? Um, I can actually say that Luffy's can uh, size for his character model could be different for each different frame. So let's say I have a different drawing of Luffy, but it's one pixel extra. That's why I don't usually believe in pixel scaling. It could be right. off. It could said, be okay, one, one second, one second, because you're kind of like on a tangent. Why do you think that pixel scaling could be wrong? Because if I, if let's say if Oda draws a drawing in the manga of Luffy, then he makes the exact same scene where the camera is set up at the same spot, but Luffy has an extra pixel in that scene. That's why I don't believe in pixel scaling. Okay. Because it could be off. Okay, so you saying that something can be off in perspective doesn't dictate it actually being off. For example, like whenever people, wait one second, whenever people be skeptical of pixel scaling, the reason why that's fallacious in reasoning is because you're attempting to say, because pixel scaling could be inaccurate or inconsistent, I refuse to use pixel scaling. But the same way you could attribute that value to pixel scaling, you can also attribute that value to other things within the series. Because I can That's say, cool. well, hey, um, in One Piece, there's times to where um, Zoro is able to run around, uh, what is it, Baroque works at like mock speeds, and then characters that are moving at several kilometers, like Gazelle Man, um, for pure meme and satire purposes, are supposed to be faster than Luffy, despite we us knowing Luffy is faster than Zoro in travel speed. 
So we have clear cases to where there's inconsistencies in both Naruto and One Piece. So are we just supposed to say, yeah, let's just stop scaling because scaling could be inconsistent sometimes. That's fallacious. No, that's, that's not my point. Where did you get this picture of Luffy from? You said what? Where's this picture of Luffy that you got from? Which one? The picture of Luffy with the red line on him. It's just a pers- it's just a picture of Luffy in perspective to him standing. Like, oh wait, where did you get that from? Okay, one second. Who's the artist of this picture? One second. Yeah, so it's just a 3D model. Understand? It's just a 3D model, so you don't know who the artist is. Again, that doesn't matter in perspective. It does matter because you way okay, are you gonna, why are you cutting me off? Why are you cutting me off? Have a different amount of pixels. Okay, why, are you, why are you cutting me off? I'm did you just asked me. I was I was in the middle of talking. I said it doesn't matter because, and then you cut me off, dude. Like, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. So, um, anyways, in perspective of why it doesn't matter, it's because we see Luffy in frame, which I'll post right here. This can just be like a frame from Luffy and like Punk Hazard or Luffy and Fishman Island in particular, which we see on the panel. Um, then by transferring Luffy into a 3D model, you're essentially arguing that the 3D model could be wrong. The same way you could provide that sense of skepticism and say it could be wrong. I say it could, I can say it could be right. You would have to dictate and then look at the 3D model and then say, yeah, this isn't the case because I just recalc this and the pixels are wrong on it. So if you can't actually give me a reason without using the sense of skepticism that can be refuted with skepticism, I can just discern to you that the fact that the model can still be used. Like, and, and again, like I said, not on top of this, like the reason why this is irrelevant completely is because dodge and light inherently would be relativistic. Like, so, so you even dodge in that light speed attack, whether you think they're FTL, light speed or whatever, the point is that they're near the speed of light. And if they're near it, and you could prove that they're hundreds of times faster than that afterwards, it would already be approaching FTL speeds, which I can do regardless. So even if you don't accept pixel scale, and regardless, I can prove to you that Luffy is faster than light or massively faster than light. Um, and they could just avoid this this credible, um, like this incredible tangent that we're going to diverge into for like 30 more minutes instead of just cutting the debate short and be proven to you that Luffy can be massively faster. So, I mean, you could choose if you want to refute and go off of like a 30 minute derail on like why pixel scaling is inaccurate, or you just want to eat your pizza rolls and like we can just sit here and like, I don't know, like prove to you Luffy's hundreds of times faster uh, with like pure multipliers and just pure speed increases throughout this, uh, the series. So it's up to you. If you want to talk for another 30 minutes it's time, that's cool. Like, <laughs> Okay. Are you done now? Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. So as I can see from this picture that you sent uh, versus the um, 3D model, quote unquote, that you sent for your pixel scaling. First of all, I can tell that the art style is completely different. The textures are different for Luffy. So no, this would not be a um, 3D model based off of the original drawing already from what I can see. Unless you can prove that this is based off of and completely scaled to what Luffy's measurements are when he's drawn by Oda, this is not a valid pixel scaling because it's not the so, same. Uh, again, again, I don't have to prove that in context. Um, so do. essentially, I don't. Okay. So essentially, via burden of proof. Hold up. Oh shit. Fuck! I like fucking. <laughs> that was gonna sound gay. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Um, but yeah, um, essentially what I was going to say is, yeah, so via burden of proof, um, essentially with the burden of proof, it depends on whoever's asserting the claim. Um, if I assert that this pixel scale says, um, if I assert that the pixel scale has Luffy at, uh, what is it in metrics? I'm pretty sure it's, I'm not, centimeters. no, no, I'm not talking about his centimeters. I'm just responding to uh, Luffy's brain. Be 147, uh, 174 centimeters uh, verbatim. So, you, if I'm asserting that Luffy is 174 centimeters, and then I post a, a scan that says he's 174, you have to provide to me why he's not 100. Because I'm asserting the value that he is, and then I'm giving you a picture for it that has the pixel line on it, as well as pixel scale in terms of pixels. So, for you to negate that and try to say it's wrong, you have to be able to prove and assert the value of why it would be wrong in context. And like, again, like, I fail to understand, like, 
why we're on this tangent <laughs> instead of just not like a tangent. I said, you're just not listening. This is no, not a I'm, I'm, I'm listening. listening. How am I not? Li okay, wait. How am I not listening if I'm hearing you right now? I said this. Like, time. Listen, listen. Okay. This is not original artwork, so you cannot use it to skip. Okay. Period. Why do you why do you think that original artwork has to have a drop off? Can you prove it does? Original artwork is from the original canon manga. Okay. This drawing is not from a okay. canon manga or okay. a canon anime. Cool. Be a burden of proof. There's a drop off where I'll take your concession on the point. Because if you can't prove you a burden of proof, then you can see the point via logic because you're attempting you're attempting to assert the logic that the pixel scale that I'm using or the direct remodel or 3D model of the image is inconsistent because it's a 3D model and the 3D model is not canon. So essentially you're like, yeah, you're using the uncanon 3D model to try to say that Luffy is this height. Um, when you have to prove that the 3D model first is inconsistent, the, the, the point of a model inherently is just to give a representation of the character and saying that it could be wrong because it's not canon doesn't necessarily mean that it's wrong. You have to show that it's wrong via burden of proof. And if you can't do that, like via Hitchens or Razor, you would lose a point. So I, I would like to conclude on this point relevant. to the judge. I would like to conclude on this point to the judge. Okay. So even if that that's fine, you can conclude on that. Um, what I'm going to say to you verbatim, just like just to get this out of the way, because I don't even think, like I said, that was relevant to the whole debate. Um, you dodging light inherently makes you relativistic. Do you disagree? Yes, depends on okay. the distance. Okay, so prove that depending on the distance, dodge and light wouldn't make you relativistic. Okay, if you're one light year away from light, uh, light, you're not light speed. So okay. you can see it coming towards okay. you. Okay, okay, okay. So let's just say you're one light year away from light, Um, you wouldn't be light speed, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. If you see light coming your okay, way, that's you cool. So Okay, you were able to provide a distinction in light years for why dodge and light doesn't inherently mean relativistic. Now, can you give me a drop off or can you give me a range to where light wouldn't it be relativistic upon a certain time frame or a certain distance within perspective? Like if me and you are right next to each other, can you determine that the light wouldn't it be relativistic for you dodging it? Because Luffy's dodging in your space. Can you show me that light has that same drop off from a close range? That's not what I'm saying. That's not my burden of proof because I never made that claim. Yeah, but I'm a certain the value that it is via relativistic. Okay, like, so why, why are you making me prove something for your own claim? That that's not what I'm doing. Okay, it just shows you're not really paying attention. So what I'm doing, no, literally, my whole entire point that it's not canon, so you can't use it. That's it, so straight are up. You, are you, you said you wanted? Okay, are you done? Like, I don't understand how people think I want to talk. You're like repeatedly, you're repeatedly talking over. Okay, you're repeatedly talking over me when I'm trying to respond to your point. It's kind of funny because you like you try to say I do that against people, but like you're doing it right now, but. Um, essentially what I was saying to you is for a character to dodge a light speed feat, obviously the connotation there is not that the character is a light year away. Um, I don't even think there's any series like, um, to where we have like a, a light year away that I can think of off the top of my head to where characters are reacting. The connotation for something being relativistic typically entails that characters are pretty close to each other or just characters are within perspective of each other to where they're able to see them or react to them. That's a relativistic feat because relativistic, like I said, just entails your relative to the speed of light. Now, if I told you that a character um, is able to react to said attack um, from a distance, I'm asking to you, I'm telling you that because you're able to react to an attack that moves at light speed from a close distance, you would be light, um, you would be light speed or relativistic. Um, I'm asking you to provide a contention via burden of proof because if you don't, I'm just going to assert that Luffy dodging the beam would make him relativistic. So again, I, I fail to understand how this. Oh means, like, my this, god! This, Nick, okay, shut up. Can we you conclude? Done? Can Wait, we why conclude? are you Because we already concluded on the point, bro. Now I'm no, on we this didn't. Point. We, I said conclude. You to literally the judge. said I, I conclude on it to the judge. judge. So we're past that. Now I'm arguing to you why you, you did not conclude to the judge at all. You continue to argue Dude. with me back and forth. And I said, you said right before okay. the conclusion, so, I wanted so to now you're cutting me off again. I'm going to wait for you. Talk for you talked for three minutes straight, bro. Okay. Let me see. All right, all right, all right. So who did God. the conclusion? Okay. okay. Let me go first. Go ahead, bro. All right. So he showed me a 3D model from a different artist that he could not even name himself. And then he showed me a picture from Oda's drawing and then tried to compare the two. And I said, since this 3D model is not canon content from Oda, it cannot be used to scale. That's the end of my contention. <laughs> um, again, like you can conclude, I conclude on the pixel scaling point. 
this whole stop into the debate was irrelevant completely. Um, I already agreed to conclude on the pixel scaling point because I said it five times, which is on recording and in front of the whole 575 person call in BC that I fail to understand why this is relevant to the debate because even arguing pixel scaling is pointless. And I brought up you eating your pizza rolls and sitting there for 30 minutes on a tangent. The reason why this is irrelevant is because if I can prove to you that within a perspective, dodge and light makes you relativistic via definition or what relativistic means, then you have to provide a contention. I'm not using the pixel scaling argument. I'm not trying to post the frame of Luffy anymore. That's fine if you want to leave that to judges or interpretation. What I'm now asserting to you is that dodging a light speed attack within perspective is just relativistic via set definition of what is used. And if you disagree, you provide a contention using sometimes a logical assumption or some type of reasoning to why this wouldn't be the case. And if you're not able to do so, I'm going to assert Luffy dodging the beam is relativistic, or I'm just going to continue to prove that Luffy is faster than Niji, who just has light speed attacks, which I can do for you right now. So are, are you fine with moving on from into that and me explaining to you why Luffy is faster than Niji, or are you providing the contention on why dodge and light speed attacks wouldn't be relativistic? Are you done like making snoring noises like trolling? Like <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, are you done? You talked yeah. for eight minutes straight. <laughs> like, okay, cool, bro. Like what did, what did anything you had to say to do go, uh, had to come with the conclusion of the pixel scaling point? What did, what was that for? Because uh, I, I I'm, I'm not wait, 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 shut up for three seconds. Let me finish okay. talking. You you have right. a common air. Go ahead. Go Keep go talking ahead. over. Uh -huh. I asked to go over the pixel scaling point with the judge, and then you proceeded to move on anyways. Okay. So. so what did, what did anything you just had said have anything to do with the pixel scaling point? I know that you're saying you're going to get to it later, how it's just relativistic. Either way, that's not the point that we're on right now. That's not the point we're concluding on. So what did anything you just say have any relevance to the pixel scaling point? Okay. None, right? Um, I'm going to respond with the same thing I responded because I feel like you're not listening. Right. I'm, I'm going to just, I'm just say this. Wanna, okay, yeah. Look, okay, I'm going to just say this is a mediator. I'm going to just say this is a mediator. If it's like a pixel scaling point on an entire speed point, like, fine. If you both agree to drop it to, like, the judge, go ahead. But if there's another point that needs to be brought up, then bring up the other okay. point and talk so, about it. Okay, so I'll say this for the third time. Because you don't have to say it. You just want to um, next um, I don't want to hear you I already said minutes. I was done with pixel scaling. I do scaling. not want to hear you talk for 10 minutes. Okay. Move to your next point. Uh, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm on the next point already. Hey, 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 look, 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 look. He's not on the <laughs> pixel scaling point. Okay. Right? If he's moving on to another point, just hear him out. Okay. Uh, again, the, the same argument. Provide me a contention that dodging a PX laser doesn't make you relativistic, because I think it does inherently by you being in perspective of a light speed attack. This is not the same point. Okay, can you quantify the distance? I don't have to. You do, because it, it, it depends on which tier of relativistic it would be. No, it could still be baseline relativistic, and it would still be about 1% of the speed of light. That's fine. I'll still take 1% of the speed of light and still prove to you Luffy blisses the fuck out of Naruto. So are you done? Can you prove that it's 1% of the speed of light? Yeah, I can take 0.0%, .0 like 0 0.1, my fault. It doesn't matter in context. Like, the whole thing is that if you extremely lowball any relativistic measurement, the whole point is if you're hundreds of times faster, you would eccentrically be above it. I'm extremely lowball and just to shit on you now because you like you want to like talk over being dickheads and I'm just gonna rhetorically dominate and argumentally slap you. So oh you're like that's, that's why with me. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, you're Go done. Yeah. Right. So in context, Luffy gets a hundred times faster from zero point one percent, and I'm gonna give you a metric for that. Give me a second. I'm just gonna post this again. <laughs> um. Do -do -do -do. So. Right here. Okay. Here you go. Um, I just posted this again in uh in scans. <clears throat> um yeah, boom. So right here, yeah. Luffy is able to keep up with somebody. This is before the one piece arc even starts on around the four hundreds, five hundreds. 
Um, and Luffy is able to blitz and slap the hell out of Burnley World, who can multiply his speed by 100. Um, even without using pixel scaling, like I said, if you just assert what relativistic is in measurements, and you got like 1% at the speed of light, um, and before you try to nitpick and even go off of like, you just said 0 0.1, um, it was literally just an example. Rel what relativistic means is just a percentage of the speed of light. So even if you have this measurement and Luffy's able to go 100 times faster upon reaching this relativistic range, I'm going to explain to you how fast Luffy can get. So you, you can start off if you disagree with the scan that I posted. Do you disagree okay, can, you prove, can you prove this is canon? Okay, sure. Do you know what this is from? I think it's uh, from 3-something Y. 3-D-2-Y, yeah, sure. 3D2 I'll, I'll, prove it to you. I'll prove it to you that it's canon, sure. <laughs> like, um... Where did I put it in my pad? Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh. Okay. Um, oh, it does. Yeah, so right here. Um, this is the direct interview. You can actually read it in Japanese kanji if you disagree. Uh, I could care less because I've seen it. Um, this is the interview translated, um, what it directly means in context. Um, I've already made this argument multiple times. Uh, the word canon just stems from the Bible. That's literally where it came from and originated. The word canon just typically implies what is ex explained or what is included within the chronological order or something and what is considered to be true to the story or part of the original material or something without providing a contradiction. So, for example, you have like One Piece films or things that provide contradictions like Zoro after uh, Dress Rosa being in film gold. But in 3D2Y, all it is an ex expansion of Luffy's character because they didn't have Luffy's character over the time skip while they had all the other straw hats. So. Yeah, I'm just gonna argue it's canon via approval from Oda, as well as the fact that where, it occurred. Where, what, what do you want me to read? There's like 20 questions on here. Um, you can just read what I posted right under the link. The link just says after asking Oda for his approval, if he was okay with it, we got his approval. Uh, like it's, it's right there. Like they got Oda's approval to actually add stuff to his character. It's not hard to understand. After asking Oda Sensei if it was okay with the idea we had, we got this approval, and since it's appearing on Saturday night prime time, it was decided to make a short story revolving around Luffy. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so what does Oda's approval have to do with anything? Okay, um, if you have an approval of Mangaka without contradictions, can it? Can you prove there isn't any contradictions? <laughs> This man. Oh my god. Bro. Why do I keep disconnecting? Hold up. The fuck. What'd you say, bro? I said, can you prove there isn't any contradictions? Can I prove there isn't any contradictions? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I hear switching the burden of proof again. I'm like, not you made the claim that there wasn't any contradictions. Yeah, there's no contradictions because I see okay, the so film can you prove from that my claim? perspective. Yeah, can so I see the film. It's my my perspective. I've seen the film too. Can you prove there isn't any contradictions? Okay. You seen the film? Mm-hmm. Okay, so do you know who Burndy is? Yeah, Burndy's that bald black guy. Yeah, and do you know who Keto Keto is? I don't remember names well. I don't even yeah, remember. Yeah, so names you don't before. remember the film. I, I just provided the distinction. I just feel like you're lying, like like blatantly. But like even even then, I just gave you a primary cast member, and you don't even know who the primary cast member is. So I don't even think you've seen the movie. Like, did you see? Did you see what Rayleigh said about light speed? Huh? Yeah, like I, like again, you said. Are you outside? The film. You're, there's wind blowing in your mic. I can't hear you. There's no wind blowing. I don't think so, at least. <laughs> you just breathe hard. Yeah, I just provided a distinction for you, and I just gave you a, a main cast member for why this wouldn't be the case. And then you couldn't even tell me who a main cast member was. And then on top of this, I just said, do you know what the Rayleigh statement is that Rayleigh makes? Because Rayleigh's statement is important to the whole film. So if you can't even recall stuff that happened in the film, I'm going to assert to you that wait, there so is wait, no wait, you're saying Rayleigh only had one statement the whole entire time? No, movie. Rayleigh, Rayleigh had multiple statements throughout the film. Okay, there's so a you got to be more specific. Okay, let me respond. Okay, Rayleigh made a statement verbatim about light speed. 
And the statement that he made about light speed is an importance to the film, which has to do with Luffy even beating Burnley World. So if you can't even recall the statement, I'm just going to assert the value. I don't think you saw the film. Like, was it that light has weight? No, <laughs> that's in that's in the series. I know you're just riding, like you're just running around, like you're wasting time. Like, all right, uh, let's see. I still don't see how it's anything to do with canonicity yet. Just because someone has a statement that I didn't know about doesn't mean it's canonicity. Like that's like me saying. Someone said. Wait, 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 let me. Someone talk, said. Can you please stop talking over me? Okay, one second. Bro, Somebody said they can't fucking... hear me. It's yeah, just like, about the shit. All right, I said people yeah. saying they can't fucking hear you or something. Yeah, shit. like I don't know why you spur game. Can you guys hear me now? Nobody. Oh, can't hear. Can't hear. Can you guys hear me? Can't hear. Can. All right, Rick, uh, disconnect. Disconnect and reconnect. They can hear you. They say you're crying. No, some people are saying he's crying. A lot of people are saying they can't hear him. So I, I don't know. They're trolling. I can hear him. Well, I know you can hear him because you're on stage. Oh, that's weird. Oh, we definitely can't hear him now. All right, can y'all hear me now? Yeah. Yes. It just lagged though. It was like ten seconds late. Can yeah. you hear him, Zan? Can you confirm you can hear him? Because I can't. Yeah. So, him. um, essentially, um, what I was saying to you is no, that is not the statement that's in the mo um the mo the special. The statement that Speedy is waited from uh Sabodi, and it's stated from uh Kizaru. So yeah, I'm just gonna assert the fact that you actually didn't see the special because you can't even recall like major events within the special that would lead me to the conclusion that you actually saw it. It just sounds like you're blatantly being a rat in line to try to like stall for the debate to continue for another hour. Like, wait, did you just say it was a a special? Yeah. Do you know what the definition of a television special is? Like, what, what, what are you arguing? Like, you could just say it. <laughs> okay. A television special, often a TV special, rarely t television spectacular, is a standalone television uh, television airing that has an episodic program near, uh, normally scheduled for a given slot. So it's standalone. It doesn't go with the One Piece. Okay, so that that's that's cool. Um, let's say I steel man. I'm just gonna like start steel man and stuff, so you don't like stall for the debate. Um, if I steel man the point that that's literally what it is in context, typically that doesn't mean that's what it's in context for all the time or objectively. For instance, like um, you can have a word that has a set definition, but if people are using the word within a different uh distinction, it doesn't matter because there's things like colloquial words, like how um. We use the word bag in society now to like mean getting money or like hey, you're in your bag, like you're, you're, you know, you're grinding, you're doing your shit versus what an actual bag is in context. So obviously in this case, if they're using the word special for something um, and they're providing to you why they didn't have characterization for Luffy in the manga in the show, and then they're giving an explanation of why they're adding this to his character, as well as explaining why this is canon and all these things link into Luffy's character and Oda given his approval because as a publisher or as a manga writer, whenever somebody like Oda gives the rights for the Funimation Toei to produce his show or to produce his series on things like Viz or whatever media form it is, it doesn't matter because they can just essentially post it because they already have the rights, but they're asking Oda to improve Luffy's character, which he approves. So again, like I don't agree to that unless you can provide a contention. So. Wait, so you're saying it, it's there's a different definition for special in this situation? What's no, that? I'm saying that I'm saying that there could be. I don't have to provide that there, there is be. within context. Like I, I use the word special as different than other people use it special sometimes. You just have to prove there's colloquial versions of every single word. So, so give me an example of a colloquial vision, uh, co colloquial version of a word for special when you're talking about a TV show. I, I just wanted an okay. singular example. Okay, the, defin the definition, okay, so first of all, the definition of colloquial or the way that people use it typically is just a standardized word that people have other contexts for. So if I have other contexts for the way that I use a word, it wouldn't matter. Like, it's the same way I just gave bag as a definition. If other people can use the word special differently, it, it doesn't matter within context. Yeah, but there, but like I said, this is a very specific version of this word like okay. i don't think uh, there's any prove it's very specific thing prove it's okay so when you're talking about context. a tv show right and you say special you're talking about a tv show and you say special it's a standalone addition to a tv show that's that's how it works this is a very specific situation uh, now again, what you're saying it says uh, i'm in my bag it could literally go either way you'd be i'm okay. literally inside of a bag or i'm getting money okay. e either way okay. but this one is a very specific situation
where it has one information that you have to use. Now, yeah. can you oh, prove okay. it is any other than preserved okay. interpretation? So go, go on Oxford Dictionary and go look up the word bag and see if being on your money drawing pops up for Oxford Dictionary. I if just literally that, agree okay, to okay, that. I'm going to explain to you oh why it is. You can talk about it. Like, I don't even know how this debate is going to continue. Right, let's just, let's just talk, get back to the main talk. point at hand. Let's get back yeah, to like, the main point at hand. The, the whole Carrying thing the here. Debate. Okay, the whole thing here is it literally just says the episode of series has its good parts, but we wanted to make a special episode with an original story. The definition of standalone that you're using typically means it's standing alone from the regular series. In context and in conjunction with the actual paragraph that it says, they say they wanted to make a special episode. There's actually never even a distinction given that this special episode is inclusive from the actual series. In fact, within the next sentence, it says, within an original story. So they're given an episode within a story to provide that it's not a standalone. They're saying it's within the actual story of One Piece. You, just, we have mis other you just misinterpreted that. Okay, so, I, I want to stop you right okay, there. You so, within, okay. it says within. Are you going to let me finish my point, or are you going to cut me off? Because if you're going to do gonna, that, I'm going to treat you how you treat your me argument. I never cut you off. I actually let you continue. Oh, you want to put that on oh. God? Put that on God. Yeah, right man, like, bro, it's on recording. On like, I don't have to argue with you. It's like an irrelevant tangent again. The whole thing that I'm yeah, saying to you, if you click the, like, bro, <laughs> um, the whole thing that I'm actually showing to you in context and what I posted the link for was verbatim showing you that in this case for you posting the, well, in this case for me posting the link, it doesn't matter because what it's literally saying in the link is that Luffy did not have character during this time skip. Now they explain that Nami was in the Sky Islands or the clouds. She was literally learning how to control the weather. They explain everybody else's character and they're explaining canonical events within the story. If you click the link, you can read through it. Now, if you don't disagree with that and you don't think it's within the story of One Piece, provide a contention. Because I just gave you a reason why it would be. Now you can talk. I'm back. Are you done now? I just said now you can talk. If you didn't hear my argument, I'm not repeating it. <laughs> oh, okay, good. I don't want to hear it anyways. Um, wow. <laughs> you said, uh, with, I have a contention with your original point. You said, we may, well, uh, let me go back. The episode of has a series of great, good parts. We wanted to make it a special episode with an original story. So it's not within an original story. It's its own original story. Hence the term special episode standalone. It proves my point even more. It's its own original story. It's not within an uh, original story. It is its own original story. Okay. Okay. So this. Are you okay with me responding now? Huh? Are you okay with me responding now? Go ahead. All right. So I don't. I don't think this matters. Um. It's like. <laughs> oh, brother. Um. I posted in the link. Uh. That literally says that Nami literally was in the Cloud Islands. You said you never, like, you, you're not even caught up on One Piece, so I don't expect you to know. Um, like, literally. <laughs> um, sorry, my fault. Um, literally in the link, like I said, it's explaining canonical events. And then these same canonical events within the story um, would coincide with what it says right after that paragraph. So in the screenshot that I posted, you're ignoring the context because you refuse to click the link. It looks like to me. Um, I and, clicked and read it. Yeah, and so, I, so, so okay, wait one second. I didn't ask you to like continue to speak and interrupt me. Um, so what I said is, it says the episode of series has its good parts. So the episode of series um, literally is a series that explains, like I said, Nami going to the Cloud Islands. It explains Usopp learning from the bugs and it explains all these different characters that are within the series. Um, they literally just said they didn't have anything for Luffy. So they made a special episode that was added to the episode of series within the story. That That's all it says within the context. If you have a different imper interpretation right now, I honestly don't care. So I'm not going to sit here with you for an hour it's clear you're not you're going to continue to be stubborn and you're never going to concede so i'm just going to leave it up to the judges and win that way it, it doesn't okay, matter we to me include our points to the judge yeah That's okay fine. Fine. i'm done with that so i i think like i said i already proved luffy would be um 100 times faster uh from that um alone him scaling to this guy um i already provided that you being a percentage of relativistic entails that you're like one percent of the speed of light and even doing that would prove that 
Um, and I think I'm done with that point. So you would be a hundred times faster than 1% of something. And you would be getting up to that light speed range and power. And even if you don't, you know, agree, you already kind of agree to the context that um, you could still be a percentage of relativistic and a percentage of relativistic is above what you concluded on Bernard's speed, which is superhuman. So well, there you go. <laughs> okay. Um, to continue my point, said that in your own point that uh, you didn't say it was point. Uh, you didn't say it was one percent. You said point one percent. It's on recording. We can go back and listen to that. And if you do hundred times point one percent, that's not gonna equal even regular. Like it's not gonna be above light speed. And then on top of that, in this one, like right here, it says the episode of series has its own good parts, but we managed to make it a special episode with an original story. So therefore, the episode of if it is its own original series uh, with its own original canonicity that doesn't follow the one piece once again it says with an original story not so that means not following the original one piece story that's why i feel like this isn't canon and as well even if it was canon that you won this point you wouldn't even be one percent light speed um yeah so um we can conclude off of that i already said what i said and um about the zero point thing like i said that's on recording i already said that was just an analogy um, but yeah, um, sure. Um, now I'm going to go off of the Niji feet of why Niji's verbatim moving at light speed um, in context, which you didn't have a contention with earlier. And I'm just going to prove that Luffy is faster than Niji. So um, yeah, so here's Big Mom, or just I just use Katakuri because he slapped all of them. <laughs> One second. For what? Um, you should have it now. Uh, I just gave you Master Chief for now. You should be able to to add it, shit, whatever, in the chat. <laughs> um, one second, let me get this now. <laughs> so here's this. Okay. Yeah, so um in scans chat, characters like Katakuri are able to use advanced observation hockey or just advanced techniques to the point where they're able to easily react with their devil fruit to other attacks. Um here's a scan of Katakuri reacting to Niji as well as all of Sanji's like brothers at once. Um so there's that. And then here's this panel right here where Katakuri literally re after reacting to that, literally just grabs these niggas by their throat and starts choking them. Like they don't even scale to Katakuri whatsoever. So Katakuri is easily able to react to characters that can attack at light speeds, as well as completely body slam these characters and choke them um, like they stole something. And then Luffy is able to fight a Katakuri. And while this Katakuri, like I said, is um doing this, this is a casual Katakuri. It's very casual for him. So yeah. Um, okay, I have one question. Sure. In the scan that you sent about Niji, he said light speed um, blade. Did he use this attack in this fight? You said did he use the attack and did he use it in what? In this fight, these these panels that you sent. Oh, he doesn't need to. Um, the reason why he doesn't need to in context is because if he's able to move at light speed um, within context and he's able to react to himself to use an attack, you would have to react to yourself. And then Niji isn't able to react to Katakuri. He would be getting bliss, essentially. doesn't matter. For you to even attack or something, or to even be able to use an attack, you need to be able to control yourself, as well as react to your attacks. Um, it's just the combat equals reaction speed format. It's like if you fought somebody that's equal to yourself, and then I throw a punch at somebody, and I'm able to use light speed attacks, and they punch me, and I can't even react to that same light speed blade within context, then you wouldn't even scale to it. So, so, so yeah, Niji has to have, right yeah, Niji has to have light speed reaction speed to even be able to use a light speed attack. So you're scaling reaction speed. Um, he's not able to react to Katakuri, so Katakuri's attacks are light speed. So, and why would he have to react to himself in order to use light speed blade? <laughs> Combat speed equals reaction speed. I already addressed that. Can you prove that? Yeah, sure. For you to be able to throw an attack or for somebody to be able to harm you, you would have to react to your own attack. Not hard to understand. Why would you have to react to your own attack? Bro, okay, so... You know, I can throw a fist to... without reacting to it. Okay, you could throw a fist without reacting to it? 
Yes. Does that mean that you can't react to it? No. Okay, so obviously you can react to it. You just said, I just asked you, you a that. question. I said, I just a asked you a people, question. A you said no. You literally agreed to it. <laughs> like, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. You, you said no. People, there's no, there's no people, way, wait, wait, wait. You agreed to that you can react to it. I said, can you not react to it? And you said no. So you cannot react to it. I'm talking about my situation. Okay, but that, if that we move on from this, wait, hold on. What I can said. I talking? Can yeah, I sure. Talking? Okay, if we move on from this, some people, like boxers, for instance, can move their fist faster than they can dodge. So let's say if someone tries, if I can punch someone at like, let's say 30 miles per hour, but I can only move my head and neck to like dodge at 20, I'm going to be blitzed by my own hit. It's all up to the character's limitations. So it, it would be up to you to prove that his limitations match up to his attack speed or his reaction speed or whatever yeah. you're trying to say. I, I don't care. Okay. So the reason why I don't have to prove this is because eccentrically, the general assumption via Occam's razor is combat speed equals reaction speed. I'm going to give another example perfectly. Um, let's just say you like we can use Dragon Ball, Naruto, One Piece. It doesn't matter. So let's just say a character is able to punch at light speed. So they're able to attack at light speed, right? Um, let's say they throw set attack or launch or hit or whatever way they use this light speed attack, they use it, right? Um, if somebody is too slow for the attack and essentially they couldn't dodge it, right, they would get hit by the attack. So that person wouldn't scale to it, whoever they're launching that light speed attack on, right? Now, let's just say somebody scales relative to them, right? And they're able to punch you, right? Well, if that person is able to punch you, why aren't you able to get off this light speed attack? Well, the typical connotation is, well, the context for the scene should be that you're faster than them. If you're faster than them within the scene, then you would be able to blitz them to the point where they can't react. He blitzes Niji, a character that's able to get off light speed attacks. And Niji in context doesn't want, to, it's not even that he doesn't want to. Niji can't because he gets grabbed and choke slammed into the ground. And then he solos his whole squad. Um, this this also goes into the fact that, like I said, um, you can even go farther than this and bring up characters like um, Vin Smoke Judge, who literally trained Niji and trained all his brothers to like um, in general, as as well as like made the the raid suits because he's the lead scientist um, to give them their powers. Um, he skills above them, and even characters like Sanji can fight Vin Smoke Judge relative to them early on in the arc. So the whole context for this is that yes, there's multiple characters that scale to these light speeds and ranges. And, and this just simply doesn't matter within context. So I, I disagree, like, with this completely. So you disagree? You think that if you throw, if you, you're able to make an attack, you are automatically able to react to it? Um, the general assumption using Occam's razor would be that you're able to react to it. Yes. Why would that be the general? No, I I just want to know. I just, I just why that would be I, I don't have to explain it again. If you didn't get it, your like, explanation was subpar. Like yeah, I you think that. I, I don't. I'm, I'm like I'm done. It's okay. literally up. Are you let me respond. Literally, situation. There is no general <laughs> assumption because the situation. Okay. So Occam's razor just entails the le the most likely assumption takes the least assumptions. All I have to do is give you a least um using the least assumptions give you a most likely assumption or most likely interpretation. Um, as as far as you thinking like the explanation is subpar. Um, I really don't care at this point because I don't, I don't even feel like trying to convince you because it's, it's just plain to see that you're riding in the line. So I'm just going to go for like a judgment win. Um, but even then, like you could think it's so far. I'm fine with moving on. I don't care. Like, okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Move on. So um, right now, I think my character blitzes. Um, we can just go off of like Duranek now. Just, Have you like, done the math yet? Whatever. Have what? Done yet? All right, can we, here. can we, all right, look, 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 like, conclude speeds? Yeah, I'm, I'm still I'm, I'm, 18 I'm, hacks. And yeah, I'm done with we can't we can't complete conclude an uh like the speed that doesn't exist because he hasn't even done the math yet. He hasn't given okay, the exact. You can speed. think that sure. Mm -hmm. If you don't what think do you mean? I can, you, you've yeah. left speeds to the judges, right? Yeah, so I, I'm leaving. Spots. I'm leaving speeds to the judges. That's fine. Okay. Okay, yeah. so you got AP and hacks left. Okay, and you're literally two hours into a speed yeah. debate. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, okay. Move on. So I'm going to go off with Duraneg now. Um, I think Luffy has Duraneg in base form that would beat the shit out of Naruto. Um, okay, sure, I, sure. I, I, okay, I'll post that within a panel. <laughs> um, let me get this. Um...
There you go. Yeah, Luffy's able to use advanced Arminate hockey that can literally destroy things from the inside and combust them with Ryu. Ryu is just the one that works for hockey. Um, hockey is just spiritual energy. Um, so yeah, I don't think you can prove Naruto has a resistance to this level of damage, as well as the fact that I said I was using base Luffy. Um, and then Conqueror's hockey Luffy, which I can get you a panel for right now, um, is able to use a higher tier of Durin Egg. Like, I don't even think Riz, like you could prove Naruto would be able to do anything, like, to do this, like, whatever. Um, and I would just, Wait, like, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're using Hockey Luffy for a base argument? Yeah, like, he can, he's, this is his base. He's his Hockey in his base. That, what? Yeah, like, what, what, do you, what do you think I'm referring to when I say base Luffy? Like, uh, like please don't tell me you're going to try to rat now and, like, lie and be like, yeah, um, you're not allowed to use Hockey. Like, the, the whole point of me saying base Luffy was so I don't use transformations, and I'm letting you use Baron Mo Naruto is to give you an uphill topic in your favor. Like, the whole reason what I'm using is I'm using hockey for Luffy. Like, I didn't even see why this is relevant. Okay, let and, me, and, let me, let me stop wait, you. One, 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 sec, one, one, wait, one, let me one, stop one second, one, one second, one second, dude. Like, okay, let me finish no, the point. It's not going to be more respond. than 10 minutes for you okay. talking for if 10 you, minutes. If you feel like I'm going to talk for an hour, if, if you want, like I said, the moderator can step in. The person right, we, can time, we can time it for like, I don't know, fucking four like, or five minutes. Exactly. So what I'm what I'm gonna say is you you can't try to pretend like you have a problem and lie and be disingenuous because you're losing the debate. The whole th reason why you can't do that is because I brought up observation hockey like thirty times during this whole discussion, and you never had a problem with me stealing characters that were using hockey at the time. So the base assumption, like I said, is that hockey was allowed generally, as well as the base Luffy using hockey. Base just implies no transformations. Okay, but th that's it. There you go. Is it okay? I was gonna ask a question. I don't know why you went on that tangent because I'm that far into One Piece. I didn't know if hockey was a transformation or not. That's what I was going to ask you. But instead, you um, went on a tangent. That's why I said, let me stop you before you go on a tangent. You see how that could have been easily avoided? So, is, are we done here? Do you do you think Naruto can resist the Dernek? Like, why did why was why would Naruto have to resist it? Okay, so do you do you think Naruto has a way to like stop Luffy's during? Oh wait, spiritual. You said it was a spiritual energy, right? Like oh, yeah, I think no, that you can argue. Can I think that you can argue. Yeah, I think that you can argue it's made of spiritual and willpower as like a combination between it. Okay, yeah, Naruto absorbs that passively. Okay, why? Bear him up. Okay, post the panel. Okay. <clears throat> Got my door. <sighs> I need to find this. Karuma. This panel. Where's the next one? Bro. Chapter 52. Does anybody have Viz Media, like a Viz Media subscription? What do you need? Chapter 52, um, Kuruma. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, 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 I see it. Never mind, I have it. What specific panel are you looking for? No, I have it, I have it, I think. All right, cool. Okay, yeah. I just got kicked out. Can't hear anything. <coughs> Can somebody talk? Testing, testing, one, two, three. Well, I can't hear. I can't hear. Hold on. No.
Okay, somebody talk again. Yeah, well. Okay, I can hear. Cool. Um, just read that while I find what I'm looking for. So that's the scan that I'm going to start off with, but I already know what question you're going to ask next, so i got to get this next panel. <clears throat> My throat. Ha. So he's still looking for the scan I disconnected. No, I, I already have it. I sent it. Okay. What did you What did you say? I didn't even hear anything. I didn't say anything. Okay. Um. Yeah, this is the nuclear fission stuff. Um. Never mind. The theory doesn't matter. My chakra and your chakra are soon as he's not. Okay. So what are, What are you arguing? Um. Hold on. Give me one second. Okay. So basically, the Bayron mode, ch uh, chakra mode, basically takes chakra and dissipates it. That's how it works. That's how it kills people. And as you know, chakra is spirit energy and body energy. So if Luffy uses Ryu hockey or whatever, it's just going to dissipate. Hold on one second. I don't think it would because um, hockey isn't made of the same thing. This material doesn't matter. Um, if it's not the same properties, I don't think you can prove it would dissipate. What do you mean if it's not the same property? What, what's it's different about hockey and chakra? Chakra and hockey are two different things in utilization. Hockey, hockey and chakra are not both, um, it's not just physical energy and spiritual, but the same way as hockey. Um, hockey entails willpower and other things, and I'll get you a definition for hockey. One second. <sighs> Um, it is transfer to a sword. Wait, doesn't willpower just strengthen the hockey? Was doesn't like the more will willpower you have make the hockey better? Not inherently. It's more than that. I'm getting you a definition. Okay, go ahead. Uh, 
bro. Uh, they said they can't hear me. Can y'all hear me? Hello. Just, just leave and rejoin oh, if they can't yeah. hear you. Leave and rejoin if it's the same shit. Um. Jesus Christ, there's so many people in here. Uh, just raise your hand so I can find you if you rejoin, bro. Let me look for him. Where is he? Um, he can't raise his hand. Okay. Um, I'm going to tag you. Um, and I'm just going to give you mod so you can just manually join. So, or, or not, I can, I can directly invite you to speak. You're good. I can just add you. There you go. Oh wait. Okay, hold on. Okay. Yeah. So um, was I was I saying to you before? Yeah, they should be able to hear you now. I think. Can you hear me? Work. Hello? I'm here. Okay. Look and scan chat. Yeah, so really explains hockey, what hockey is, um, in context, and why it's different in nature. Um, it's a little blurry, but yeah, you can see. Listen closely, Luffy. Hockey is a power that exists within every single human being, present, spirit, and aura. It's not just something that's just spiritual in nature. Um, that's why you kind of like cut me off earlier. Hockey is explained to be spirit, presence, and aura, and accumulation of all of these things, and especially willpower, because that's what conquers hockey. Um, that's how you resist conquers hockey anyways, just by having a high willpower. So it's all these different things encompassed within hockey, which I don't even feel like is similar to, to Naruto, um, as well as the fact that, like, even if it was, which I disagree with, um, just given a potential steel man assumption, is that there's multiple different layers to what is being able to be absorbed as well as potencies to things. So I don't even agree that you would be able to just resist this potency unless proven to do so because there's different potencies of Dirt and Egg. Like you have characters like Law who can use counter shocks. Yamanipe has a higher potency and a durability and negation than a counter shock. And then Advanced Conqueror's Hockey is even higher into potency. And I can show you scans for that. Um, let me get some. But yeah, you can continue. Okay, so presence, aura, and spirit. You know there's chakra auras in Boruto. I wouldn't have to. I mean, that's not pretty obvious. You said you read the Boruto chapters, so you know. Um, presence, what do, they, what do they mean specifically by presence? Um, how much presence somebody has. It's like it's like it's not just literal presence. It's like how much presence you have in terms of like like it should be a synonymous with will if anything because we see conquerors hockey affects the weak or people who it's, it's not like physically weak. It's like mentally or you just don't have a strong willpower. Um, and then I'll get this for you as well. Like I said before, you you go off into that. Uh, one second. Uh, I mean. And then on onto the willpower point. The I just said hockey. I just said one second before you shot. No, no, no. But while you're getting your scan, this is. Yeah, I, I don't want you to continue to make forms of argumentation, so I get shotgun and lose track of your arguments. I'm gonna respond to this thing first. Oh my god. Okay. Wait, what are you even responding to? 
um, responding to the point that you made earlier um, about the whole the whole thing of why this would be the case, or like, are you Naruto characters have aura? I'm gonna go against that. Oh, so, aura. Okay, go ahead. Here, let me get those. Okay. So as an example for Aura, are you gonna use something like Borushiki? Like you know what I'm talking about? Borushiki, Ishiki, Naruto. Okay. That's fine. Um yeah, I don't I don't necessarily think it's the same thing. So typically, um, whenever you're referring to aura, like aura and chi like it can be different depending on the context. The aura for Boroshiki and Naruto characters typically just represents whenever you see a mass amount of chakra or energy surround this person, which is not the same thing as aura in One Piece. The definitive definition for aura is just a distinctive atmosphere quality that seems to surround or be generated by a, pre a person. And in One Piece, they do not have chakra or anything that's similar. When they're referring to aura as a person, it's more typically referring to, like I said, the person's willpower, because that's how you resist things like conquerors hockey. Or you can just argue it's uh, it's similar to like um, just the person's like uh, behavior, the way that they act, and that would be synonymous with like I said, like uh, the voice of all things, and how Luffy's explained to be pure-hearted throughout the series. Uh, like uh, again, this um, this this fails in functionality, but these are the scans I was grabbing, which I'm sorry I take so long for. Um, but yeah, this is basically just showing that there's different levels of durability, negation, and potency. And I don't think Naruto could resist this many layers into Duraneg. So yeah, there's characters that can gamma knife Kaido. Um, there's characters like um, Killer that can use subsonic strikes that pierce through his body and negate durability. Then Luffy uses Kong Gatlin, which is able to negate durability higher than both of these levels. And then there's characters like Kaido and Luffy much later who are able to fight relative and use much higher layers of durability negation. And I don't think that you can prove that Naruto would even be able to resist as many layers, even if they okay. were the same thing. So, okay. So do you know the way the Duraneg works in this situation is based off of hockey. So if he can absorb hockey, the layers of Duraneg would not matter. Oh, it they, would not matter. They, the layers they do. Would not matter. Okay, I'm gonna let you finish. If you absorb something completely, it doesn't matter. Okay, um, I'm gonna let you finish. So. The reason why it does matter um, within context, I'm gonna get this deeper for you. One second. Um, One Piece chapters. Fuck. Um, do, do, do. let me just do a fucking quick blow through. What the fuck is okay? One Piece. What is it, like ten fifteen? No, this website fucking sucks. Read one. <clears throat> Conquer Saki, where is it? Um, my fault. I, I disconnected again. If you were talking, I didn't hear anything. Did you make an argument or something? Hello? Am I tripping? Can y'all hear me? Yeah. Okay. So <clears throat> here you go. Um, wait, is, is he here though? So you can hear my argument? Bartha balls. Bartha, you here? Yeah, I'm here. Oh. Can you hear Ista? All right. Hear who? 
Me. You hear Kuros. Kuros. No. Okay. I can't hear Kuros. Okay, he's going to um, join back because people can't hear him. He was like trying to talk. Oh, I didn't hear anything. He was like quiet for like a whole minute. Yeah, 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 because he was talking during that. Can anyone hear Boruto while he's All right, speaking? You... Kuros, talk again. Yo. Okay, we can hear you now. Okay, boom. Well, all right, so looking at scans chat, this kind of ends the argument. Um, right here, these are three different scans for Luffy. Um, why potency does matter. I already went over this, but I'm going to extrapolate furthermore. So Old Man Hagiro explains the differences in levels of Haki. Um, right here, you can see the Haki you would penetrates and destroys the enemy from the inside. Do not stress. You must allow the Haki to flow into your fist. I already talked about how there's different levels. The more that you stress, the more that you don't focus, you're not able to do it properly, implying that there's different levels of potency to it. Then on top of this, Luffy says, it was still too shallow. And then he says, in the midst of danger, that power truly blossoms, right? Luffy is referencing that the hockey that he's using is too shallow, which is why he's not able to damage Kaido. And then you can see him laughing at him. And then he says, yeah, you can infuse things with supreme colors of hockey. And then after this, he combines Conqueror's hockey with Advanced Armnet Level 2, increasing the potency of this, which allows him to jog Kaido in the mouth, like making him bleed, implying he's using higher levels of durability negation. So yeah, Duranek can be used in potencies or quantities. So I don't, I don't think this matters. If that you wasn't think my point. Killers. I said the potency wouldn't matter. Okay, I just explained to you why it would. Like even if you prove that it's chakra, um, I don't think that you can prove that it drains it instantly, as well as the fact that you can't prove that it would be able to drain this many layers into durability negation. Um, if you feel like you responded to that argument, that's fine. We can leave it up to the judges. Okay, cool. All right. All right, I'll go into my Duranek, which I've already gone into it basically. Yeah, I've already gone into it. Okay, so are you, are you finished here? Sure, we can conclude. All right. Um, I think I won because I won. Um, there, you, you can go. <laughs> okay, I think I won because uh, on the speed point it was inconclusive, and he said point one times the speed of light. So or no point one percent of the speed of light, and then he got a hundred times multiplier. So then later on. There was no calculation that was provided there. So I feel like that, that whole entire point was inconclusive. There was no decisive speed that was given to Luffy. Then on top of that, I feel like I won this um, hockey point because I was. I feel like I proved that willpower only includes, like, only strengthens the hockey uh, user's ability. And then chakra is basically the same thing as um, hockey because it's revolved around spiritual energy. And Naruto can absorb spiritual energy and dissipate it. And then he said there's different layers of, what's it called, Duraneg, but I said it wouldn't matter because all of it would be absorbed. And, yeah, basically Naruto has life manipulation as well. So any anything, anytime Luffy comes into contact with Naruto, he loses his life. So I feel like that's what I won. Okay. So, um, yeah, we're done here. Um, so, <clears throat> the Dark Star, you finished recording? Are we not going to get the judges verdict on the recording? Oh, I'm going to ask if he's finished with the judges, like the recording first, like to see if we have it. Finish, finish with the recording. It's on the... Okay. I mean, um, if you want me to judge it, I'm going to judge it right fucking now because, like, bro, it's, it's 11 p.m. for me. I'll yeah, do it tomorrow. Uh, oh, it's that's, okay, that's, that's fine. Um, He has it recorded. Um, Like I said, which we discussed before the debate, there's like a bunch yep, of people. Post the video. Yep. <laughs> You said, what happened? The, yeah, you're talking about posting the video? I remember. Oh, no, 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 not that. I'm, I'm referring to the judges aspect. Like, when I reference, like, yeah, there's a bunch of, like, neutral people we can get in here to judge the debate. Um, oh, at, you're talking about other judges. Yeah, like, getting people to judge it. Unless you just felt like you lost. I'm cool with that, too. Um, unless you want to. Um, wait, hold on. I want to address something. I'm biased. I'm going to say Kuros. So, even in a situation, let's say, for example, Boruto didn't say shit. He didn't even utter an entire word in the two hours. And I said, yeah, I still won because he just said something and the other guy didn't. You're going to be like, nah, you're just you're, you're just really biased, bro. <laughs> you're like really biased, bro. I don't, why are you biased? Yeah. <laughs> bro, why are, why are you out here not being able to do fucking standard math, claiming you make 150k uh, in two months? Are you getting at somebody in the chat? <laughs> yeah, I am. Bro was like, I'd make 150k in a month. No, you don't. You fucking lied. Your profit margin's only 100k. 
You well, didn't even well, take into it, account uh, expenses. You were like, my sales rate's like 150k plus. It like does uh, something. Why are no, people you didn't take profit margin into account because you can't even do that shit. Did you file for taxes, bro? Did you even admit to that? Um, oh, nice. Wait, who is it? Who is it's it? Fucky, it's it's your goon, Nacho, bro. He's been repping you since day fucking one, the second yeah. you jumped this chat. Kind of nasty. Who? Like, you said who? You said who? I imagine as, grooming as, someone and your as, own creator said who? As, as I don't a, I'm not going to cap. Like, I've already realized this, like, months ago, but it just, like, this even, like, reconfirmed it for me. Um, As somebody who, like, debates Naruto and One Piece, uh, Naruto fans are, like, way more degenerate because I have, like, People coming in here like, yo, yo, Luffy gets slapped. Naruto, 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 Naruto. And all do, do, yeah, do you know what's funny? Do you know what's like, really what funny? Fuck? Do you know what's really funny? They're going to be like, yeah, you're really biased for a guy that, bro, I literally debate Naruto. I will sit here and yeah. take Naruto on Naruto versus Luffy. And you're telling me, nah, you're just, you're just really biased against Naruto. Uh, why, why are you like this? I, I, it's just kind of weird because like I, I'm literally in both fan bases and I'm in a bunch of Naruto servers and One Piece servers and like the Naruto fans act way more degenerate for a fact. Like I can verify. Just don't. That. I don't. That's why I don't associate with Naruto fans. I'm a like I like Boruto better than Naruto. I tell that to people all the time. Nah, the Boruto fans. The Boruto fans are even more. We're worse. I, I agree. We're worse. But we're not like <laughs> debating worse. Well, yeah, I, I mean, think it's we just say our show's the, the best show. That's are, it. I think it's because the Barzo fans are younger, yeah, which makes it even more degenerate. Yeah, Naruto versus Luffy if I wanted to. I don't mind. Nothing wrong with that. Um, let me see. But yeah, um, I don't know. We could. I don't know. Let me let me look in here. Uh, Wait, hold on. Everybody who's saying bias judge, um, he's not gonna be the not only even judge. a judge. Yeah, like, it's gonna be three judges. So if they have contention, we still three debate about judges. it. There's gonna be three other judges. There's no bias in this. I already agreed. Okay, are you fine with me judging if I listen to it? Oh, sure, yeah. you're okay, good. you're fine with it. Okay, so if both people are fine with it, then it's fine. Okay. Um, bullet, just... bullet, you're like a you're a big Naruto Barto Stan. Uh, your whole um, channel like devoted to that. Do you want to judge, bullet? <laughs> yeah, bullet sadly has to like sit here for like two fucking hours, bro. Yeah, like. All right, I'm gonna upload a raw version. I'm then gonna like um probably just gonna fucking I don't know, edit it with my own time. With timestamps and shit, sort of. Is Bullet here? Bullet's in chat somewhere. Yeah, he's he's listening, listening to. He's typing right now. No. Or hold on, hold on, hold on. Goku, is, are you still here? Okay, Bullet said, "Are you cool with Bullet judging?" He's like probably the biggest Boruto turd. Like <laughs> Boruto turd. Yeah. Disrespectful. <laughs> you can't be disrespectful to Boruto. But um, yeah, I'll let Bullet judge. Didn't he uh, like debate Happy before? Yeah, yeah, you should make it happy out. before. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, he are, like, if anything, bullet should be in your favor. He thinks that like Naruto's like universal and these high ass metrics that like most people would disagree with. So yeah, he attended a school to like fucking stand Naruto, bro. <laughs> Naruto. All right. Me? Um Geeks in here as well. <laughs> you got everyone Jesus. in this card, then, bro. Bro. Somehow Jacob ain't fucking in here though. That's that's why like I already said this. The more the more I debate Naruto, the more I hang around like Naruto and Barso niggas, the more I dislike the series. Like that shit just <laughs> shit's gross. Yeah, do you think I stopped debating the fucking series? I th I think like the general One Piece fan is older than the general Naruto fan too, probably just because of how long the series is. Like 